for you. Yeah, okay. Well. Well. Hey. Next time I'll remember to bring enough cash for both of us. Next time use the Visa check card instead of cash. It's fast, easy, and accepted everywhere Visa is. So you can get what you need and get on with life. You're watching News 4, where local news comes first. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Lauren Campbell. Thanksgiving gatherings have many of you around metropolitan Detroit hitting the roads and heading to the airport to be with your family and friends today. Metropolitan Airport is crowded, but flights are said to be running on time. Airport officials say there are no major delays or cancellations reported, but if you are catching a flight or picking someone up, you're advised to call ahead and arrive early, approximately two hours before domestic flights and three hours before international. Michigan roadways are relatively crowded as well. 75% of those traveling in the state today will be driving this weekend. State police say there are no accidents out there right now, but they do advise drivers heading to and from Canada to be prepared for possible delays at the Ambassador Bridge, the Windsor Tunnel, and the Blue Water Bridge in Port Huron. Drivers are advised to take it slow and, of course, as always, buckle up and do not drink and drive. And we have a happy ending this morning in the search for a local woman carjacked from a store parking lot. Police say a 16-year-old boy carjacked and kidnapped 75-year-old Sylvia Holly from Lincoln Park Kmart store Tuesday. Holly, who is legally blind, was found Wednesday in a grassy area near the Rouge River. The teenager is in custody this morning. Doctors say Holly is doing well, and her family says this will be the best Thanksgiving ever. And the 73rd Annual Thanksgiving Parade is getting set to march down Woodward Avenue this morning. The parade starts at 9 o'clock at Woodward and Mac. Now, if you're staying at home today, you can watch the parade right here on News 4. Our live coverage begins at 8.30. Rock and roll legend Little Richard will serve as the parade's Grand Marshal. Again, our coverage begins here live at 8.30. For more on our parade traffic and weather this Thanksgiving, Reynolds Wolf and Deborah McGann are next. Don't miss Kohl's after Thanksgiving sale. Get there Friday at 6 a.m. for early bird specials till 11 a.m. Save 50% on all Barbie dolls and accessories. All cashmere sweaters are just $35.99. Save 50% on all candles. And save an extra 20% on all 14 karat gold chains and bracelets already 60% off. Plus save on other great early bird specials store-wide. Then keep shopping for more great savings during Kohl's after Thanksgiving sale this Friday and Saturday only. If you're planning on coming downtown today for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, but you don't want to fight the traffic, there are plenty of area locations that have shuttles running for you. Those locations include the following. Williams Rec Center, the Detroit Zoo, Northland Mall, Eastland Mall, the Fairlane Town Center, and even the Cannon Rec Center. Again, they'll be running shuttles, so you don't have to fight the traffic, but you can enjoy the parade. Happy Thanksgiving, folks. I'm Reynolds Wolf with your forecast. And this morning, we've had some cloud cover out there, but it hasn't been too bad. Take a look at our latest satellite loop showing the, the, a lot of the cloud cover moving from the west to the east. Our temperatures along the parade route this morning will be on the cool side, mostly 20s and 30s, with a very light breeze in skies that will be partly cloudy. But our temperatures will finish up mostly in the 50s with partly cloudy skies and some showers forming later on this evening. Stay tuned for live parade coverage. Have a great Thanksgiving. Here's Me TV. Hi, Me TV. What's up? I just want to say hello to everybody out there in Detroit. I love my son. Walk up, push the green button, and the next 30 seconds of your life could be on Channel 4. Hey, Corky! Have a lot of fun. Push green and be seen. I to play trombone. What do you have to say? Look for Me TV booths at the Channel 4 Studios downtown Detroit, Star Theater in Southfield, and Mr. B's in Royal Oak. Me TV only on Channel 4. I'm so excited. It started two days ago. What if I ever sleep? What if I forget my checkbook? Target has Garth Brooks' latest releases, The Magic of Christmas and Garth Brooks in the Life of Chris Gaines. <laughs> I love Garth. I love Chris. I don't know who I love more. Target's two-day sale starts Friday. Come in early for incredible savings and surprises. Need a map? Oh, come on! I've got to get to Target! Cars. We know them. We love them.
As morning dawns, the magic begins. Balloons grow large, floats roar to life, bands prepare to march. Join us as we take you backstage for one of the most exciting and anticipated events of the year. America's Thanksgiving Parade is about to roll. Featuring performances from the Rockettes, Karen Newman, Forbidden Christmas, the Rhythm and Sound Academy, and the Harlem Nutcracker. It can only mean it's time for the fun and tradition of America's Thanksgiving Parade. Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Carmen Harlan. Welcome to one of Detroit's grandest traditions, America's Thanksgiving Parade. And I'm Devin Scullion. So glad you could be with us this morning. We are starting things a little bit earlier this year, but it's a bigger parade, and we've got to fully prepare you for the big spectacle you're about oh, to see. we really do. You know, we always say that the parade is bigger and better, but it's really true this year. Floats are bigger this year, far more animated than ever before, and the balloons you're going to see today are simply incredible. And you should be on the lookout for celebrity sightings, including the most popular of all, and guess who that is? Santa Claus. He'll be here just a little later. Star of the show. Up the parade route, we've got Chuck Gatica with us, who's going to bring us not only some terrific, beautiful parade weather today, but also the pre-parade activity as well. And Steve Garagiola will have celebrities and entertainment to share, including performances from the Radio City Rockettes, Karen Newman, and much, much more. Speaking of entertainment, on the parade route right now, a group that's going to get us moving this morning as we start things off a little earlier. Here is the Mid-American Pompon All-Star Team. Woo! One, two, three! Now it's about that time for me to all up, baby! All up, baby! Now, they got to be dead, 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 we told you we're starting this bit a, a little bit earlier this year so that we can prepare you for what is sure to be an incredible parade. Up the route from us, a little over two miles that away. Chuck Gatica is standing by. Chuck, let's talk a little bit about the weather today as it was last year, raining in New York yeah. for their parade, but just about perfect here. I'll tell you what, we've lucked out. We were getting rain just the day before. The gusty winds, you know, near 30 miles per hour. That's awful news for balloon handlers. And here we are with almost a still breeze, just a few high clouds and some delightful sunshine looking down the parade route down Woodward Avenue toward downtown. Everybody's getting ready to set off and uh, get this thing going. Parade uh, handlers are here. We've got people who are going to be in the parade. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Some Channel 4 people there. And we've got not only the parade floats, but of course the balloons, the equestrian units all lining up. And even the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Hi, gang. Hi. Good to see you. What are you guys doing out here? Well, we're going to be walking in the parade and are handing you? out Wiener whistles. Do I get one? Yeah, sure. All right, let me, let me see how it works. All right, let me see. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I started the parade or not. Oops. Uh, big deal is weather. We're cool there, but what about traffic? We'll have more on that coming up now from Deborah McGann. Good morning. If you're headed downtown this morning for the parade, remember there are a few roads that are closed before the parade until about 9.15 this morning because of the turkey trot. Those include West Lafayette from St. Anne all the way to Cass and Fort Street from 20th all the way to 2nd 
the lodge exit to Larned will also be closed. Remember, all of those will reopen at about 9.15 a.m. if you are headed down for the parade. Remember, there are also shuttles available throughout the metro area. All right, and if you're not headed down to the parade and you decide you want to sit there and watch the parade with us, we've got much, much more to come. And you get the perfect seat for America's Jesus. one and only America's Thanksgiving Parade. Stick around, we'll be right back with more. Ever wish you could just tell someone the gift you wanted for Media Play? Well, here's your chance. What I really want for Christmas is a Nintendo 64. I want this Metallica t-shirt. I just want a bass guitar. South Park Dune. Greedy Beanie. I really want this bongo drum. This is what I want. Hey, Mommy, I want this Pokemon movie. Can I have this, Mom? Admit it. The gifts you want are at Media Play. You just gotta ask. Media Play! Media Play! For gifts! Point phone makes a really useful holiday gift because it's the only wireless phone with a brain that can send a message from one OmniPoint phone to another or email it from your computer or send voicemail. Oh, one more thing. I love you, Daddy. The gift that keeps on giving. Activate by December 31st and get 400 local minutes a month for just $39.99 with contract. I'm so excited. It's Target's two-day sale. What if I ever sleep? What if I forget my checkbook? Target has Garth Brooks' latest releases, The Magic of Christmas, and Garth Brooks and the Life of Chris Gaines. <laughs> I love Garth. I love Chris. I don't know who I love more. Target's two-day sale starts Friday. Come in early for incredible savings and surprises. <laughs> Need a map? Oh, come on! We've got to get to Target's... Earth and mercy, mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Welcome back for Thanksgiving Esters in the Christmas season. You're listening there to the folks from A Christmas Carol, which is playing at the Meadowbrook Theater. That'll be through December 26th, and we're going to hear a lot more from them coming up a little later on. We certainly are. And while we continue our lookout for America's Thanksgiving Parade, let's go down to the parade route. Steve Garagiola has a special guest who's cooking up a tasty treat. Steve? Well, uh, Carmen and Devin, you know, a big part of Thanksgiving is good things to eat. And down here on the street, we have found our resident chef, Keith Amy. Happy Thanksgiving, chef. What do you got cooking for? Oh, you know what? We're doing a cross between an English trifle and an Italian tiramisu. Look at this. This is layers of white chocolate, mascarpone cheese, Pound cake espresso, and you know the best thing about this is the topping, and you're going to help me do this. this. This is for all my people who came over on the Mayflower, huh? Exactly, and mine too. This is, look, this is a, a frangelico cream we're just going to put on here. We whipped some whipped cream, put a little frangelico in it, and we're going to top this with shaved chocolate, and believe it or not, something really special, and you're going to help me with this here. Right. I'm up to it. Okay, see these here? Pull these out. Look at these. All right, what are these? These are hazelnuts that were dipped in sugar, hot caramelized sugar. Stick them right on there like that. Oh, oh without, without the toothpick, Steve. Oh, gee, I messed up already. See? Look at these chocolate dipped strawberries. You're going to go around here. I think Carmen is definitely going to love this. I mean, this is a great way to start Thanksgiving, don't you? Now, i got to work the mic, so you got to work these guys. Okay, here we go. Look at that. And here, we put some of these on here. The other thing we've got going on here, these are chocolate leaves. We took some, just some uh, uh, rose, uh, rose leaves, brushed them with chocolate, and then peeled the leaves off. And look what you got. You got chocolate leaves. How beautiful. All right, and you're going to take this upstairs so Carmen gonna and Devin can have some. Absolutely. Answer. They're getting this next. Uh, this all right. This is their breakfast. Well, all right. Thank you, Keith. She, he's going to finish this up and bring you guys some. Chuck, what's happening down at your end? Hey, Steve, I'm surrounded by all kinds of people in costumes, big heads, little heads. And look, the pilgrims, they're here. I'm coming over. Pilgrims. Hello, pilgrims. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. 
Okay. Are you here with the JBL flow? Yes, yeah. we are. Oh, good to see you. You ready for a great parade? We're ready. Yeah, and how about you? Yep, we're ready. Yeah, now where do you all come from? How do you get this job? Uh, we just volunteer for it. You call and they'll send you an application and you fill yeah. it out and then they'll let you know if you're accepted or not. Waited all your life to be a pilgrim in a parade. Yeah. There you go. Well, have a good time. <laughs> nice to see you. What would a parade be without kids? Hi, kids. How are you? All right, well, Devin, Carmen, everybody's down, and you notice they're all a little close. It's still chilly in the 30s, but they're all excited. It looks like lots of smiles. See you just a little bit. We're talking about a lot of smiles, Chuck. Wait till you see right here what uh, Keith Famey has just look brought for us. This is There's towering. Do we have good plates, too? Oh, look at this. <laughs> now, what do you call this? <laughs> this is like, this is crossed between an English trifle and an Italian tiramisu. There's layers of mascarpone and white chocolate mousse, pound cake, espresso, and... Uh, How do you serve it? You just, oh, like, just dig just, in? Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> How do you? You know I would. Ask. That looks great. Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna give this there's one a fork over there. Is there are forks here too. Oh. Who needs forks? We'll just dig right into it. No, there's well, forks. We can't do that on TV. <laughs> I know. There's a fork right if by we the plate. If we were at home, it might be a different thing. So well, you've got strawberries great. in chocolate here. Chocolate dip strawberry. Yep. Yeah. 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 Frangelico cream. Oh my goodness! Look at this. I'll have a chocolate strawberry for you. Thank you very much. Oh, we're gonna dig into this. And until we find some forks, we'll just kind of admire it here. Well, you can bite into that strawberry as well. Tell people at home too that you know you can catch Keith every Wednesday on the Newsbeat at noon and on December 11th at 7 p.m. Keith has another famous adventures in cooking special. You were off to Vietnam yep. last time. This time where are you? This is uh, Wake Up in Wisconsin. Like wake the Up best in Wisconsin. Bed and breakfast is from You've Wisconsin. Done it, right? a great event. Oh, you can, and I even learned how to milk a cow. Speaking of wake up, <laughs> the word wake uh, generally doesn't mean laughing, but at Flanagan's Wake, which is playing at the Bocce Theater in Pontiac, you're actually a part of what turns out to be interactive fun. And here, performing their own take on a classic Irish tune, the cast of Flanagan's Wake. I have one thing to say. Theater in Pontiac. You know, it was about 10 years ago we almost had to have a wake for this Thanksgiving parade. You know, that's true. That is until one family with a strong sense of community stepped up to the plate and saved this holiday tradition. I'm talking about the Van Elslanders. A decade ago, local businessman Art Van Elslander and his wife Marianne had a conversation that changed the future of the parade forever. Well, I remember very well um, being at the breakfast table and Marianne saying to me, you know, Art, they're gonna, we're going to lose the parade. And like most husbands, I guess I was reading the paper and I said, oh, really? You know, and that was, okay. And she said, yeah. And she said, I don't think we should do that. I don't think that should happen. Art made some phone calls and found out the parade had a $200,000 shortfall. He planned on calling friends to help, but there was no time. This was the 11th hour. There had to be a check written. So I called Marianne and I said, you want to do this? And she said, yeah, let's do it. Over the years, Art challenged other area business and community leaders to support the parade by offering to match new sponsorship contributions. Through his generosity, America's Thanksgiving Parade has more active sponsorship involvement than ever before. And on this, his 10th year of participation, the parade company honors Art Van Elslander for his dedication to a Detroit holiday tradition. The involvement is spectacular. The sponsor list has grown and grown. This year it's almost doubled. The Art Van Company has pioneered some of the most innovative and extensive floats parade watchers have ever seen. A couple of weeks ago, the parade company unveiled the 10th anniversary Art Van furniture themed float, Old King Cole. Art Van 10 years ago said, this parade is something that can't go away. It's wonderful. And he and Mary Ann have made it part of their family tradition and they saved the parade. 
when it, it came through in the last hour. Down, it? it really doesn't. I saw uh, the Van Elslanders last night, and they just the look in their eyes when they see Real what has it's become after the last. Oh, and years. bigger and probably better than they ever even imagined. Sure, sure. You know, we finally got some forks here. <laughs> We're going to try and taste this wonderful dessert that was dished up to us just a little bit ago, and. You know, it's, it's got strawberries and, oh, and chocolate here. Oh my goodness! Fact, we'll, we'll go ahead and eat while mm, we're. There's more to come, yes. including the Rhythm and Sound Academy, oh. the Radio City Rockettes, and a whole lot more. And more tiramisu. It's always starting to smell really good around your place too. Boy. American Thanksgiving Parade will be here soon. Don't go away. Taste this one. Oh, this is great. Oh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bride was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lame, misfortune seemed his lot. He got into a twisted bank and we, we got a... It may be chilly outside, but the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride-all-day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. To come down to the Kobo Carnival, be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. As an entertainer, I'm a perfectionist. That goes double when I entertain for the holidays. Introducing Arby's Winter Tulip Tumblers. Everything has to be just right, down to the last detail, with a 22-karat gold rim and a lovely winter scene. For elegance, I spare no expense. And they're just 99 cents each. Okay, but that can be our little secret. Entertain in style with Arby's new Winter Tulip Tumblers. Just 99 cents each with each soft drink purchase. Thanksgiving sale. Let the season begin. Once in a decade comes a movie with the power to touch everyone who sees it. A movie as passionate as it is epic. Promise me you'll come back for me. I promise. I'll come back for you. See why love is a passion that can tear a life apart or set it free. The English Patient, the winner of nine Academy Awards including Best Picture. See the network television premiere. Only on TNT. From all the waters, now rejoice thy way. Shepherd in the hills, sat among the silent sheep, and no man spoke a word that had been in the wheel. The wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel. Just in less than 20 minutes, we've already had three groups performing for us. Coming up, performances from the Radio City Hall uh, Music, Music Hall Rockettes, the Harlem Nutcracker, Karen Newman, so many more. We are just jam-packed with entertainment this morning. Oh, get your fingers popping and everything else. <laughs> right now, though, let's go back up to the beginning of the parade route and check in with Chuck. Chuck? Hey, Carmen, Devin, you know, we talk about kids in the parade every year. Big important things. We've got weather. That's no question. We've got nice, calm winds. Temperature is all right. Everybody's dealing with that. Everybody all right with the weather this morning? Yeah! These kids have been coming down with their folks, some of them for almost 30 years, and we're surrounded by a lot of kids, some dressed like turkeys. That's a weird little turkey face. Thank you. What is your name? Olivia. Olivia. You're so pretty. You have an American girl jacket. Is that what you want for Christmas? No. No? What do you want? You don't know. Well, I know you've been practicing saying hi to the big guy, saying hi to Santa. Let's practice that one time, huh? Hello, boys and girls! What do you say? Hello, Santa. Thanks, kids. Nice to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. We're again right on Woodward Avenue, and you can see a lot of action here. We're still moving bleachers right down the road. The balloons are coming out all just minutes away from stepping off the line to get America's parade going. And again, lots of activity. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you from back here in just a few minutes, Steve. All right, Chuck, you want to see some talented kids. Have I got a group for you. For the first time ever, the parade company conducted a huge talent search. Great opportunity for somebody to be discovered and then perform in front of millions of people in America's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Well, you are about to meet one of the big winners from that talent search. 
They are from Detroit, the Rhythm and Sound Academy. It's all yours. Me too. And I got down here just before seven this morning. They were uh -huh. down there practicing. I knew they were going to be one of the highlights of the oh day. Oh my great. goodness! I wonder how many kids are going to want, <laughs> want to learn how to do that. Yeah, those are great. Yeah. Well, it, you know, as we mentioned, the parade company discovered them during a talent search. It's the parade company that does an incredible job every year in staging America's Thanksgiving parade. You may not know who they are, but you sure know what they do. They are. If there's a big event going on in Detroit, in most cases, the parade company has something to do with it. They are two of Detroit's biggest and most exciting events, the Hudson's Fireworks and America's Thanksgiving Parade. But did you know that both of these incredible events are planned and staged by the nonprofit Parade Company? The Parade Company is all about creating magic, magic in the city of Detroit, and we're actually here all year round working. As president of the Parade Company, Susie Gross gets to define the word wow. Along with her talented staff and an enormous team of hardworking volunteers, she gets to create larger-than-life events that make so many people smile. We're thrilled to bring the Detroit community together on Thanksgiving morning and also with the Hudson Fireworks. We also did the Red Wings Parade, which was great. We'd love to do another one of those. And we do parades all over the world, bringing other communities together. And the revenue from those events helps produce the Thanksgiving Parade. And it does take some major dollars to create and stage a parade of this magnitude. The parade is strong, not only because of the commitment of Art Van Alflander and Marianne, but also because there's a significant board of directors behind it. And these are people who really work tirelessly throughout the year. But ultimately, the work the parade company does has meaning way beyond the dollar figures. When you look at the parade, you see the whole community coming together, and that's what we're about. And they do it so well, don't yeah. they, each and every year. And of course, the Parade Company's big fundraiser, the Hobnobble Gobble, was held last night. That was another huge success, which helps ensure what's going to happen here later today, the parade. Lots more to come, including America's Thanksgiving Parade. It will continue in just a moment. We like Thanksgiving because you don't have to work and you can sleep in. Yeah. Sing we joyous all together. 
Unbelievable giveaways, incredible deals. Local stores are competing to get shoppers in the door, but the biggest winner will be you. We're going to show you how. Tonight at 11, it's shopping's busiest day, so where's the best place to begin? Find out where early birds get the biggest discounts and cash in on cool freebies. Start your holiday shopping with us at 11 after ER on News 4. The holidays don't have to be hectic. Take care of everybody on your list at the famous Mervyn's California two-for-one sale. But come early. Only the first 700 people get this collectible figurine absolutely free. Store opens at 7. Friday and Saturday, it's Art Van's Ultimate Mattress Sale. Save 35 to 50% off all premium mattress sets. All Sealy Foster Pedic. All Simmons Beauty Rest. All King Coil Foster Bond. All Stearns and Foster Luxurious Mattress Sets. And there's 0% interest for two full years with no down payment. Plus, Mattress Express gives you free next day delivery or your mattress is free. For 35 to 50% savings on all mattresses, hurry to the Ultimate Mattress Sale. This Friday and Saturday, only at Art Van. Introducing MeTV. Look for MeTV booths at the Channel 4 Studios downtown and Star Theater in Southfield. Other locations coming soon. What do you have to say? MeTV on Channel 4. Go out there, do your one love, bless you, God send you a happy new year. And God send you a happy new year. We are not daily beggars that beg from door to door. But we are neighbors' children whom you have seen before. We're rehearsing our Christmas carols as we fly here this morning. Thanks again to the folks from the Meadowbrook Theater production of A Christmas Carol. They are sure getting up in the holidays. They sure are. And if you want to see them live and in person, that show continues A Christmas Carol at Meadowbrook through December 26th. Let's check in again with the ghost of Thanksgiving present, Chuck, who is up for every <laughs> Chuck. Hey, you know what? I'm surrounded by a bunch of big heads. Look at you guys. How you doing? Very good. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, you too. How much is this deal weigh? It's about 40, 45 pounds. Yeah, you doing all right in there? Everything's okay right now. All right, and you're all right? I'm happy. Happy, thanks <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Back at you. Happy Thanksgiving, thanks for, everybody. Thanks very much. We've got the balloons ready. Elmo's just right here behind me. Of course, we're on Woodward right near the beginning of the parade route. We'll swing around here. This is the South Johnston Band. You can see some of the other balloons getting all set. Parade floats in line. And it looks like everybody's getting ready for the big start to this year's parade. We'll see you from uh, out here in just a few minutes. And we're going to go check out the clown breakfast and all kinds of other things coming up in just a little while. Devin, Carmen? Right, Chuck. I love the guy on the one head. Everything's okay so far, <laughs> right now. But you know what, this festivity has got started actually last night and certainly has been well underway this morning. We've got the Radio City Rockettes We've coming up so here in Newman. Also Nutcracker. the Harlem Nutcracker will be here for course, America Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's yet to come. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Mason from JLB. My fondest Thanksgiving memory. Let's see. Oh, I got it. How about when you think you're the early bird? So I started three. Got a thermos, got a pack. I got a front row seat. Wrong. So, what's in the blue box? What's in the blue box? The financial answers you need in life. Looking for something for the person who has everything? I bet they don't have one of these. It's the MediaPlay gift card. The gift card comes in any amount. It's up to you. How about this many? The MediaPlay gift card is great because it's so easy to wrap. There, that's easy. You can use this in store or at our new website at MediaPlay.com. And just like this, when it's empty, the MediaPlay gift card is refillable. Hmm, tastes like chicken. MediaPlay!
Foot Locker wants to give you the gift of holiday savings now with our buy one get one at 50% off sale. Buy one thing, anything, even items currently on sale and your second item is 50% off. How easy is that? Get huge discounts on athletic footwear and apparel on every Foot Locker, Lady Foot Locker, and Kids Foot Locker. Get unbelievable savings on all your favorite top brands and get gifts to go for everyone on your holiday list. Hurry in for Foot Locker's buy one get one at 50% off sale today. Some restrictions apply. Discount taken on lesser priced items. Once upon a morning bright, a rumbling was heard at dawn's first light. Balloons grew large and horses neighed, because live from Detroit, it's America's Thanksgiving parade. There's Clowney and Johnny, a mouse with a cookie, bands marching proud, and clowns acting kooky. The Rockettes kicking high, and Karen Newman you'll hear, Harlem Nutcracker sings out, and little Richard brings good cheer. Live from Detroit, this morning dreams will be made as we bring you the fun and tradition of America's Thanksgiving Parade. You are looking live at a beautiful Thanksgiving morning in the Motor City. Good morning and welcome to the place where your storybook dreams come to life, America's Thanksgiving Parade. I'm Devin Skillion. And I'm Carmen Harlan. You know, for over 70 years, this magical parade has made its way down Woodward Avenue. A little over two miles up the road at the parade starting point is our own Chuck Gatico. Let's check in with Chuck and see what's happening. Chuck? Well, hi, Devin. Hi, Carmen. Parade route is still here. We're still getting set, and there's a lot of activity. Everybody seems to be in a holding pattern here now. We're still in about the same spot we were, Willis and Woodward Avenue. Uh, Elmo is here, Humpty Dumpty in the distance, and you can see weather is just fine. We've had temperatures that have cooperated, upper 30s to near 40 degrees through the morning, and the wind has not been an issue, which is, of course, a big thing. The rain ended just about what it was supposed to, so we've had a wonderful time with weather. Coming up, some weather tomorrow, but it looks like a wonderful start for the parade. Actually, a lot of the people that I've seen this morning have indicated they like it a little on the cool side because it makes them feel more comfortable wearing costumes and having to deal with walking the parade route. So we'll see you back up uh, the road in a little while. Right, talk to you soon. Now, this year we celebrate the fun and tradition of America's Thanksgiving Parade with what I know. You hear us say this every year, but this will be the best parade ever. We've got not only the longest and biggest float ever to go down the parade route. That's not all, as a matter of fact. That's right. In fact, in just about an hour, we'll go nationwide as we're joined by a television audience from across the United States. It's always a pleasure to share this holiday tradition with the rest of the country. It sure is. And of course, this is one of the nation's largest Thanksgiving Day parades. Should be no surprise that it attracts a huge number of celebrities. That gets better and better every year. We saw little Richard last oh, night. Oh, didn't we? Unbelievable. You'll see him later on. Also, the world-famous Radio City Rockettes. They're going to be here in just a few minutes. Plus, we'll have a live holiday performance by Karen Newman, as well as the Harlem Nutcracker. Matter of fact, why don't we go on down to the parade route and get things started, kick this holiday off right with what's becoming a bit of a tradition in itself, and another tradition in this parade. Direct from the Christmas Spectacular at the Fox Theater, here are the Radio City Rockettes performing the Parade of the Wooden Soldiers. All right.
Come, don't try that at home, you know? <laughs> That's great. The world-famous Radio City Rockettes bring the Christmas Spectacular back for a third year to the stage of Detroit's fabulous Fox Theater. Fact, this is all about traditions. You and your family can start your own tradition as the Radio City Rockettes take the stage. <laughs> That'll start tomorrow night and run through December 30th. They'll also be back a little later today here in our program. They've got another holiday number like this. That's right. You don't want to miss that. Right now, though, let's go down to the parade group where Steve Garagiola has Detroit's own Karen Newman. Steve? Carmen and Devin, a special guest. Karen, happy Thanksgiving to you. Thanks, Steve. To you, too. First most important question, are you going to work our Red Wings back into the Stanley Cup final? Well, I'm going to do everything I possibly can other than, you know, be the net minder. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do everything, though. I can't do everything. Uh, tell us some of what you've been up to. Helping hands. Tell us about the program you It's a great in. program, though. It was actually uh, brought about by our friends at the Detroit News several years ago. And this year, we're partnering together with WDIV, the Detroit News, the Detroit Red Wings, and a Harmony House. And we're putting out a new Christmas CD. Actually, it's out this week called Christmas Kiss. It also contains a great duet with your very own Devin Skillian. Very cool. And we're raising money for Helping Hands. What we're trying to do is uh, help any families in need during the holidays. That's great. You're going to perform for us a little I later, am? right? All yeah. right. Karen Newman will sing for us. Let's go back down to Chuck. Woodward Avenue, one of the best looking floats this year is the new Skillman Foundation winner, and this is Jerry, the driver. Good to yes, see sir. you. How are you, Jack? Can you tell me what's inside this? Well, vehicle? this was an old Ford pickup truck once upon a time, but the body is no more, and they built me a motor home. Now, can you see very well? Uh, not a, I mean, very, very limited. There are a couple little windows, but you can't see much at all. Now, you drove this from my breakup. Yes, I did. Yes, How I was did. that? Well, that's, uh, this is easy. Getting in here is tough. Yeah. I gotta tell you. Well, it's good to see you. Pleasure. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, sir. You have a great well, thank you. Be safe in there. This, this again, the Skillman Foundation winner. Under new art direction, a lot of these floats have really taken on a great look this year. And, of course, there's a lot of new animation to these floats. Weather is always a big thing, not so much for the floats, but for the balloons and the balloon handlers. The good news is sun is coming out strong. Temperatures are warming through the 30s to near 40 degrees, but we've lost that gusty breeze that we've had the past couple of days which is great news. The floats are stepping off now. We'll catch up to you in just a minute. Carmen, Devin? All right. I don't know anybody who enjoys this parade more than know, Chuck. Yeah. And we'll be checking in with Chuck throughout the morning to find out how parade preparations are coming along. But there's much more to come, including a musical sneak peek and a performance from the newly opened Forbidden Christmas. Countdown is on. America's Thanksgiving Parade is moments away. Don't you go anywhere. America's Thanksgiving Parade is presented in part by the Chrysler Corporation, giving you back the romance of driving. Art Van Furniture, we do more for you. Standard Federal, helping you along the way. Hudson's World of Gift Ideas. Mervyn's Big Brands, Small Prices. Target, expect more, pay less. charge. I'm so excited. It's Target's two-day sale. What if I ever sleep? What if I forget my checkbook? Target has Garth Brooks' latest releases, The Magic of Christmas, and Garth Brooks and the Life of Chris Gaines. <laughs> I love Garth. I love Chris. I don't know who I love more. Target's two-day sale starts Friday. Come in early for incredible savings and surprises. Need a map? Oh, come on! Come, step into the spotlight. MGM Grand Detroit Casino. I got the latest, greatest music with 24 days to go. A book on Eastern tunics with 23 days to go. I picked up all the hottest toys, a digital camera I enjoy. Finished all my shopping with 21 days to go. And now, thanks to Amazon.com, 
I'm sucking down the egg dog with 20 days to go. Practicing my yoga with 19 days to go. Nothing else to do today but worry about why to stay. Soaking in a bubble bath with 15 days to go. eager young faces. Welcome back to our live coverage of America's Thanksgiving Parade from Detroit. We love being a part of your holiday and so happy you could spend part of your holiday with us. A million people or so gathering right outside our doors here. You can imagine the anticipation and excitement downtown. Yeah, but you've got a great seat if you're watching us at home. You know, parades are not only magical, but they're musical as well. And America's Thanksgiving Parade is no exception. Marching bands have traveled from across the country to be with us this morning. And of course, we've also got some very outstanding marching bands from the metro Detroit area. Why don't we go on in and check up with Chuck, who is, uh, I guess, helping tune up the tubas this oh, morning. Oh, he does it well. Hi, gang. We're at the corner of Canfield and Woodward, and all of the balloons are getting set to take off here in just a minute. This is actually Johnny Appleseed that we're under here, moving our way down the block. Canfield, here's the Kmart cloud and a bunch of clouds. Hi. How are you doing? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, you too. You must be glad there's not a whole lot of wind out here this morning, uh -oh. huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, who are the captains? Who are the captains of the team? So what does that mean? Does everybody have to salute you? Is that how this works? No, not at all. No? So I have to salute them. What's the tricky part about this balloon? Uh, not letting go. Well, there you go. <laughs> are you up already? Remember go, Chili go. Willie? Oh, many yeah. years ago? Oh, it took oh, off. We don't, we don't want that to happen again, no, do we? thank yeah. you for this weather, Chuck. Oh, you're very welcome. Well, everybody. happy Thanksgiving. Everywhere I go, it seems like we've got clowns. All of the balloons are lined up this way. And, of course, the latest this year, Humpty Dumpty is with us. And it's good to see you again. Well, thank you're in charge Chuck. of the balloons again, huh? That's right, sir. I'm yeah. the whole time at this stuff. All right, so you ready to go this year? Ready to rock and roll. All right, good to see you as always. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Back to you, Steve. What a goofy bunch of clowns down there. Well, Chuck's at the front of the parade. We're down at the rear end of the parade. And right now, we've got some music for you that really is going to put you in the festive holiday spirit, singing the title track from one of her new CDs, What Christmas Means to Me. Here's Karen Newman. November brings the snow. The eyes of a child begin to glow. Feeling only comes this time of year. Mistletoe, we're roaming by the fire. A channel snow is all I require. Homemade decorations on the tree. Christmas means to 
what her EP means seems to, me. to come more and more of a tradition in this yeah. parade as well. She's terrific. All right. Now, if you were with us earlier, you probably saw something called Me TV. Me TV is your opportunity to talk back to us. Here's a little bit more about it. I bet you thought to be on TV, you'd have to withstand grueling auditions, please television executives, and have a specific talent. Well, that's not always the case. What is it for? It's Me TV, and it's a self-contained video recording device that gives us a chance to put you on TV. You gonna put me on TV? All these folks put themselves on TV at the Me TV booth at the Star Theater in Southfield. We're wondering why the adults bring their children to rated our movie. But they should really be at home in the bed. Say something. Our favorite thing about Thanksgiving is. You have 30 seconds to record a message about anything. The messages will be collected on a regular basis, screened and used during the news and special programs. Got an opinion you want heard? We're making it easy. Put yourself on MeTV. A great deal, which we're debuting today. There are a couple of them around, like we saw at the South Coast Theater. We've also got one here along the parade route today, so we'll be hearing folks yeah. check in from along there. Oh, take a chance. Get up in front of the camera. It's not that hard. Give it a go. There you go. Look at see? this. You can see it right here on Long Woodward Avenue. A lot Some people are taking, stepping up to the uh, to the challenge. So with MeTV, you're the star. And we've got a lot more <laughs> star power to come, including the Harlem Nutcracker and an encore number from the Rockettes. Plus, in a little bit, that special performance from Forbidden Christmas. Stay there. America's Thanksgiving Parade is just moments away. I'm thankful for my son recovering from an auto accident. If anything else in this world I can ask for was to have him still here with me. Thank you. News 4 is all about. Local news is our first priority. Our reporters, our live units are always on the street. Chopper 4 is in the air. We're in your neighborhood. News 4 is everywhere, gathering the information that affects your life. We're all in this for one thing, to make sure you have the best local coverage, period. That's a challenge I take serious. Local first. That's what News 4 is all about. It may be chilly outside, but the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride-all-day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. To so come down to the Kobo Carnival, be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. Thanksgiving sale. Let the season begin. An OmniPoint phone makes a really useful holiday gift because it's the only wireless phone with a brain. It can send a message from one OmniPoint phone to another or email it from your computer or send voicemail. Oh, one more thing. I love you, Daddy. Ah, OmniPoint. The gift that keeps on giving. Activate by December 31st and get 400 local minutes a month for just $39.99 with contract. Yeah, a few people taking, uh, taking the MeTV yeah. challenge up. We're welcome back. In a couple of minutes, I'll get a peek at the Harlem Nutcracker. Also, we just saw some of the cast members wait till you see the musical gift that we have coming from Forbidden Christmas this and morning. don't forget, we also are going to have another number from the world-famous Radio City Rockettes. Sounds like we're getting ready for a party, doesn't it? we got a lot to fit in this morning, so let's keep things moving. We'll get back to Chuck Gatica, who spent a little time clowning around this morning at the Clown Breakfast, Chuck. Well, here I am at the clown breakfast, and as you would expect, there's a nice big breakfast. But when you have a clown breakfast, you need to find the clowns, and that's what we're going to do now. Chili! Hey! Look who's here! Shut up! Oh, 
shenanigans and silly. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're, we're excited and we're happy. Yeah, you never know it by the color of your hair. <laughs> Uh, so, Dull, isn't it? So you're making people up this morning? Yes. Yeah. They are. And now do you know who these people are? They're like big important folks. Yes, they are. They're the distinguished call for us. They are. Salute for that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> we just bought noses as clowns. <laughs> I'll see you in the parade. Okay. Hey, look, it's Noodles. Hi, Noodles. Hi there. Good morning. Good Happy morning. Thanksgiving. And, and what is your name? Jan Brandon. And you're in the process of being made into a distinguished yes, clown. Yes, going to be good. Yes, I am. Yeah. Noodles helps me every year. <laughs> How many years have you, have you been doing this? Good morning, this? ladies. This is my fourth year. Oh, well, Clowning around. Congratulations. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes, Steve. Okay. But Chuck, we wanted to make sure we have something for everybody this holiday season. Maybe you're looking for a wacky look at Christmas. You need to check out Forbidden Christmas. It's at the beautiful Century Theater. It runs from now through the end of the year. It's an outrageous show. Parodies performed by everybody from Pokemon to Elvis. So we're going to give you a sneak peek now. The cast is here from Forbidden Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, what would Forbidden Christmas be without the king? Oh, I'll be home for Christmas, December 25. I'll be home in Detroit, because I'm still alive. The current king of Christmas. Oh, holy note, Luciano Pavarotti, the opera star, has arrived here to sing. All on your knees, prepare to duck and to come. in just a few minutes we will have a very special performance from the harlem nutcracker and an encore number from the radio city rocket can you believe all the performances and entertainment we got this morning america's thanksgiving parade is on its way stay right where you are sale ever at Art Band, featuring our biggest offers of the year. Zero percent interest for two full years, and there's no down payment required. And you'll find half-off savings at every department throughout the store. This Friday, you'll get both great offers in one huge sale. Plus, the first hundred customers this Friday get a free grip light flashlight, only at Art Band's big after Thanksgiving sale. This Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Hi, we're here at Media Play with... Kathy. To prove once and for all that Media Play is your one-stop gift shop, give us the name of somebody on your list. Uh, Lisa, Shelley, Tim. We're going to go do Kathy's list now. Man, there's a lot of movie soundtracks. There it is, Sound of Music. Oh, let's find Shelley's computer stuff. Something with recipes. She a good cook? Yes. But now, Tim. Blank tapes. Well, we got it all taken care of. Media Play's got everything for your shopping list, and Kathy's, too. Media Play, for gifts. What's in the blue box? What's 
in the blue box? The financial answers you need in life. The holidays don't have to be hectic. Take care of everybody on your list at the famous Mervyn's California two-for-one sale. But come early. Only the first 700 people get this collectible figurine absolutely free. Store opens at 7. certainly hope that you're enjoying this as much as we are and we want to welcome everybody back down on the parade route right now is the duke ellington centennial choir from the harlem nutcracker now this is rather a jazzy production of the holiday classic which features music by duke ellington another show that's kind of becoming a tradition this uh, holiday season in detroit you can catch the show it starts tomorrow runs through december 5th at the detroit opera house and to give you an idea of what you can expect when you see the harlem nutcracker here they are Is that fabulous music? I tell you, I've had a seat on the curb. I've had a seat on my couch. This is the best seat so far. Just fabulous music. The Harlem Nutcracker, by the way, at the Detroit Opera House starting tomorrow, and their performances run through December 5th. They filled the city with music. Can't imagine what they'll do in the Opera House. All right, I understand Chuck Gaedeker is still hanging around at the Clown Breakfast. Chuck, you must be starting to feel at home down there. Well, Steve, you can't just come to the clown breakfast and just have bacon and eggs. you got to get into the spirit of this, right, Papa? Well, that's correct. That's you're right. Get some fun-looking stuff. And who is this? Is Neon. Yeah. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. So you're rather new to this uh, makeup business, aren't you? Well, it's my first year with the Distinguished Club. Yeah. And is this your first? This is my first year also. Well, great. Nice to see you. And who do we have over here? Look at this, getting glittered up. I'm Nathan. Nathan, where are you from? Westfield, Michigan. Now, I know that you've got something special going on. What, Grandma's in the hospital? Why don't you look at that camera and why don't you wish her well and say Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Grandma Viva. Well, that's great. Well, we wish her the best. Pup, and let's see, where are we headed with this young man? Oh, we're just about done. A little bit more glitter and sparkle, and he'll be ready. Now, you're going to do a, a funny hat, or are we doing funny hair, Nathan? Which way are we go with it? Funny hat. Funny hat. All right, well, Happy Thanksgiving, and uh, get well soon, Grandma. Check Little Lovatian hat in his like yours. A Czechoslovakian hat like mine. Back to you, <laughs> Devin Carpenter. I want a hat like yours, too. I like that. <laughs> my, favorite, like my favorite part of the clowns are all their names, as you hear in Chuck. We saw they were talking to one named Puffin. Well, let's find out what Chuck's clown name is when he comes back. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in just a few minutes. America's Thanksgiving Day Parade coverage begins right now. I like the balloons. The big balloons. The real big balloons. It may be chilly out.
outside, but the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride all day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. So come down to the Kobo Carnival. Be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. As an entertainer, I'm a perfectionist. That goes double when I entertain for the holidays. Introducing Arby's Winter Tulip Tumblers. Everything has to be just right, down to the last detail. With a 22 karat gold rim and a lovely winter scene. For elegance, I spare no expense. And they're just 99 cents each. Okay, but that can be our little secret. Entertain in style with Arby's new Winter Tulip Tumblers. Just 99 cents each with each soft drink purchase. Hello? Server? Got it. Total participation. And this means everyone. All working to make sure you get the absolute best experience possible. Mr. Thurber, you're all set. Introducing Five Star. A new approach to selling and servicing cars and trucks. It's better. We'll prove it. Only where you see these signs. Technology is providing new options to the physicians involved in the treatment of heart disease. Now there's the possibility to get you started on your second chance sooner. From drug intervention to coronary angioplasty and open heart surgery, new options are becoming available. Know your risk factors. Eat right and don't smoke. And make sure your heart is in the right place. By joining together, we make our entire community a better place to live. Exciting time to be in downtown Detroit. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Probably starting to smell like turkey around your house. Welcome back. Joining us in the broadcast booth now, our good friend, the former clown that you just saw a few minutes ago. Chuck made it back from I the top. I guess this will be all right. Oh, oh, I, I love yeah. that. Happy That's Thanksgiving great. to well, you. Well, same to you. Nice to see you. You know, this has to bring back memories for some of I mean, We've been a part of this parade for so long, and certainly, uh, I, know. I know I've had fond memories of it. And certainly the, the music, there's music here for everyone, whether it's gospel, yeah. whether it's jazz, whether it's... Christmas carols. And every year I, I get the assignment to go out and talk to folks on the parade route, and the, the coolest part is going out and just being with the kids. We just saw that kid's right. face, and he's <laughs> yelling and screaming, and I know he's on TV, but this is you a know, big deal thinking, for them. He's like, what should I tell Santa first? Should I tell him what I want? For this year or next year or right, what? You, know? right, you yeah. guys have anything that you want to let Santa know? Right uh, now? No, I'll just whisper. I'm going to bend his ear here when, you know, when we get him one-on-one on one like this. That's rare right. Opportunity. That's right. He always <laughs> seems to remember who I am. Yeah. So. You've got some special guests. I do. We have our special parade kids who are back with us. And as you well know, the audition process for this is grueling. I mean, we sure. get hundreds of people showing up to area media play stores. And we wound it all down and we picked two. Here's how it all works. Hundreds of kids came out to the area's six media play locations to try to become one of just two kids to join me on America's Thanksgiving Parade. They faced some pretty serious competition. Finally, we decided on this lucky pair, Greg Miller of Gross Point and Brianna Hall of West Bloomfield. Greg and Brianna enjoyed a get-acquainted lunch with me before heading off to a tour of the TV studio. One of the highlights of the tour was checking out Chopper 4 on the roof and a chance to be weather persons for the day. Hi, my name is Brianna Hall, and here's the forecast for today. Hi, my name is Greg Miller, and here's the forecast for today. Then it was off to our big picture office to see how I forecast the weather for Channel 4 viewers. To top it off, they joined me at a taping of the Michigan Lottery's Road to Riches show. They got to check out the behind-the-scenes area and be part of the studio audience. All in all, it was a very exciting day for these two special people. Brianna Hall is nine years old from West Bloomfield and Gregory Miller, age eight, of Gross Point Farms. Congratulations for getting yeah. here. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yes, sir. What did you say about that chopper? <laughs> um, You'd too like bad I couldn't drive it. <laughs> too bad. Me too. We all say that. Yeah, now, Brianna, tell me about yourself. Uh, what are you involved in? What are your hobbies? My hobbies are ballet. Yeah. I know you're into dance, right? Yes. And just being cute and beautiful. Oh, is that you look beautiful oh, today. Yeah. You look very nice today. Thank look at you. That. And you, sir, very handsome this morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were telling me what you wanted to do when you grew up. I wanted to be a scientist. 
All right, and now this is your shot. I know everybody at home doesn't know about this. You have somebody special you have to say hello to at school. Go ahead. I would like to say hello to my gym teacher, Mr. Clink, the best gym teacher I've ever had. Oh, Let me tell you why. Because there's a sucker on the line. If he says hi on television, he gets a sucker and goes, gets oh, it at the office. Oh, you know, you're smart. You're, 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 you're smart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my little... God. That's right. So it was a deal <laughs> set up. Special. I want to say Please. hi to my favorite. Two of my favorite teachers, Mrs. Newman and Miss Lewandowski. And teachers are big because not only are they very important people in your lives, but you get you get a lot of time out of school when you're rehearsing and doing these things for the parade. Ms. Lewandowski is my third grade teacher. Oh. And Miss Newman is my teacher right now. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad we said hello to them. We uh, take the kids on a tour <laughs> behind the scenes and everything, and we want to show you what that looks like. Can we see? Yeah. Well, here we are behind the scenes of America's Thanksgiving Parade. Preparations began a few days ago with technical workers and engineers busy building sets and laying the groundwork for the big event. Here's a set you might recognize. With a little work, this hollow booth is magically transformed into a cozy room where a couple of familiar faces will keep you up to the minute on the day's events. In here, Channel 4's home away from home. Producers, directors, and technicians work closely together to make sure that you don't miss a beat. As the oversized floats travel down Woodward Avenue, you'll be front row and center with the latest technical equipment, including 11 cameras strategically placed throughout the parade route. We're able to put you in the middle of the action. By mounting a camera on a crane like this, you get an overview of the parade site. And by using a special fisheye lens on the ground, here's what you'll see. We even have a camera mounted 12 stories high to give you the big picture. Wherever you are, you can bet you'll have the best seat in the house. All right, here we are. Be careful, guys. Let's go down the stairs here. Now, we're behind the scenes of the Channel 4 broadcast area right here on the island on Woodward Avenue. And we're being tracked now by a steady cam. You see this guy right here? He's got a special camera rig like they use in the big movies and everything, and he can jump up and down so can we look at this and there's no movement in that camera that's pretty cool i want you guys to get your chariot ride right here but we've got to talk while you're getting in your uh, your golf cart we've got to talk a little bit about a big float you know every year the skillman foundation uh, supports kids and allows kids to draw from their imagination what they think a balloon or a float should look like and every year winners are picked and they actually take those ideas and bring them to fruition take a look at what happened this year most people think that only the professionals can design a floater balloon for the parade. But that's not true. Each year, the Skillman Foundation and the parade company hold a contest and pick designs for two kids. The balloons and floats are then built and you get to see the finished product in the parade. This year's winners are Elizabeth Stone, a fifth grader from St. Clair School, and Ashley Olowski, sixth grader from Ely Elementary School. So you see, anything is possible with a good idea and some hard work. So what would you do for a float in the Thanksgiving parade? I'd design a Pokemon float, especially Pikachu. What would you design? i design a float that has a year 2000 on it. All right, we're back live now on Woodward Avenue with uh, Brianna and Gregory and Donna, their driver. Are you ready to do this? You get to go up the parade route and get on a float and come back down. Yeah. This is just too cool, isn't it? Yes. Are you ready? Yep. And I wish you good luck. Good yeah, luck. Wave to me. Luck. Yeah, as you come by, will you give me a big wave? All right. Blow okay. me a kiss. Throw me some candy. Cool biz. You're off and running. Have a good time on the parade. Devin, Carmen, they're going to be off. Go ahead, Donna. It's your turn. Cool. Take them on down Woodward Avenue. Catch up to their float. Bye, guys. Have a good time. Bye. See ya. They've got security on back, too. Look at that. <laughs> All right, Chuck, a couple of live wires this oh, year. Oh, they're going to have a real good time. You can just feel it. Don't go away. We're about to premiere the new Go For It video featuring an incredible tap dance performance. Plus, the Rockettes will come back for a high-stepping encore. And yeah, we saw where the kids were headed. Remember, America's Thanksgiving Parade. She's minutes away. Stay there. I'm Paul W. Smith from the Great Voice of the Great Lakes, 760 WJR. I hope you're enjoying the wonderful coverage of America's Thanksgiving Parade here on Channel 4. I think Devin and Carmen are doing a great job. Devin, isn't that amazing? I think you're doing a great job on Thank the parade. You. Thanks. 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 But 
the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride-all-day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. So come down to the Kobo Carnival. Be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. Hi, we're here at Media Play with... Sonia. To prove that Media Play is your one-stop gift shop, give us the name of someone on your gift list. Shelby. My daughter's a big Titanic fan. Uh-huh. Uh, the Titanic box set. Any alternative endings on it? Okay, give us another name. My husband, John. He's a PlayStation fanatic. She knows a way around here. I think he gets all his aggression out on these games. Well, shopping's done. Guess you can go home and take a nap or something. Media Play, forget. Thanksgiving sale. Let the season begin. They're the two words during the holidays every parent dreads. Assembly required. At Five Holiday Toys, the instructions make them seem so easy to put together. Today, live on News 4, we put them to the test. How easy are they to assemble? How long does it take an adult? We'll find out while you watch. The information you need to guarantee your little ones won't be disappointed. Tomorrow at 5 on 4. Did it? You know, we've been losing track of time here. We've been having so much fun this morning. But the word on the street is that America's Thanksgiving Parade is on its way. We've got pretty good sources on that information. Now, where, what time the parade starts actually depends on where you are along the route. We're near the end of the parade route, which is about 2.2 miles long. So they actually have to get a head start by about 9 up there to make it to our position by 10. But we want to let you know you're not going to miss a thing, and neither will we. You know, earlier in the show, you saw the Radio City Rockettes perform a number from the Christmas Spectacular, which is at the Fox Theater now through December 30th, here with another performance from that classic show, the world-famous Radio City Rockettes. Again, a big part of our tradition here. You start your day like that every morning? I try to. It gets me right in the spirit <laughs> of the parade, that's for sure. By the way, we hear that Santa is yeah. on his way right now. Of course, once again this year, we started this, uh, I guess, two years ago. Through the marvel of technology, we will be able to bring you Santa's progress from Santa's perspective with that, our Santa you know? cam. That's right. <laughs> that's right. What's even more exciting is that Santa has a brand new sleigh this year. And I understand that following his appearance here, Santa's heading over to Cobo Hall to check out the indoor amusement park. We were there last night. In fact, we were. The site of last night's Hobnobble Gobble, the Black Tie Parade Fundraiser, which has become such a huge event over the last couple of years. One of the biggest parties, and last night, no exception. And certainly one of the biggest fundraisers yeah. for this parade. And with us now is Susie Gross, who is the president of the parade company. Susie, welcome. A wonderful parade so far. Actually, a wonderful party. You had a good time last night, Thanks. didn't you? It was terrific. Little Richard was wonderful from Northwest. <laughs> it was 
Just a great night, sold out crowd. How and many times have you said shut up? <laughs> it's really, really fun. What a great parade we have today. All kinds of beautiful sponsors and beautiful floats and pennants from Farmer Jack. So we're just are we thrilled. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. Now, we every, are ready. Every year we tell people, oh, it's better than last year. Because, of course, that's your job to make it better than last year. But this year, you and I were talking last night, it's more of a quantum leap that we're It making. is a quantum leap. We have animators that are in from Orlando. We have all kinds of floats that move. The floats are an experience instead of just looking at something for your eyes. They're breathtaking, and we're so excited. And I think the Daimler Chrysler Pace Car is going to be here <laughs> soon, which means the parade is coming. Anything? Any last minute? Tips, no. tips, pointers for no. viewing. No, just enjoy. Just enjoy. It's just such a wonderful sight. Look for Shirley Jones on the Partition right. of Paris. Right. Carmen Sandiego, all your favorites. It's uh, just it, great. Now, your task, of course, is to try and make it better than every year. Is that a little dawning? When Because each year I know you're happy with it, and then the you're the next is, day. As my kids get older, their wants change, so it's great. <laughs> They're my toughest critics, and we have skateboarders in the parade this year. Always and, of have. course, Joey Fatone from NSYNC is here with JBL. And you found so. this rhythm and sound academy. Right. How did you we find that? We did a We Want Wow talent search and identified different groups in the community oh, to be in the parade. It's really really reflective of the momentum of the city and what's going on. The kids in the parade are darling. The old, everyone's great. It's a How whole community. Keep that thing. magic going, you know, and that's something that's so abstract. That a little caffeine. A little. <laughs> <laughs> now, you haven't had any sleep since last night. I know that. No, I, a little. Oh, you a did little. get some. Yeah, oh, good. but you know what? Life is good. I'm on my way to my best friend's house for dinner, and she said I could come if I said that, so that's <laughs> oh, great. <perfect. laughs> I mean, nothing but pizza for 48 hours. You know, we pizza, just have caffeine. a great staff, and I have to thank all the volunteers. Yeah. They're hundreds and th actually thousands of them that are here today on the street. So well, let us the be parade. the first, yeah. if not of many, to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Thank and you. thank you for preserving this tradition. Okay. It gets bigger and better every year. It's wonderful. We can't wonderful. wait to see the fruits of your labor. It's just about You're gonna out love our it. back window. You're going to love it. <laughs> we know Let's take it back down, we'll further down the parade route with Steve Gargiola standing by. Hi, Steve. Well, we've already seen Pikachu and Elvis. I don't know how this can get any bigger. But if Susie says it's getting bigger, then it will get bigger. Linda Jennings is here with me, manager of special projects for Hudson's. Happy Thanksgiving, Thank Linda. Good morning. People who have not been around Detroit for 100 years maybe don't realize the tradition of Hudson's in this parade. Tell us about that well, a little. Well, um, a lot of people do know that Hudson started the parade 73 years ago. And um, uh, we have continued every year. Um, our involvement now is that we always contribute a new float to the parade each year. And this year, our theme is the 12 days of Christmas. So we have a special surprise for everyone. We uh, flew in Shirley Jones as our partridge in a pear tree. Get it? Get it? Get it? Partridge <laughs> in a pear tree? Hopefully everyone will get it. And the, the really neat thing about that is we also have 96 of our Metro Detroit area Hudson team members who auditioned to march with and our I flow. think that's an important thing to talk about because clearly a lot of these people tomorrow, biggest shopping day right. in there, a lot of people have to go to work tomorrow. Right. You had to have auditions. You had to cut people. We had to, to yeah, and so they, I mean, that's a good sign right there, is that how much this parade means to everybody in this community. And so we auditioned. We've got 96 great team members out there who will represent the other 11 days with Shirley, and we've got um, all kinds of great things. So people are going to love it. That's awesome. All right, Linda, thank you much. We'll let you find your thank warm you. seat for Happy the parade. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. That partridge in the pear tree coming your way. Devin? Love that. Shirley Jones is the partridge in the pear tree. When we come back, the premiere of the newest Go For It video. All right, plus the parade is on its way, so stay right there. We'll be right back. Hey, gang, this is Harper, the Breakfast Club from WNIC. On behalf of all of us, happy, happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving.
It all begins this Friday at 8 a.m. The biggest after Thanksgiving sale ever at Art Van. Featuring our biggest offers of the year. 0% interest for two full years. And there's no down payment required. And you'll find half-off savings at every department throughout the store. This Friday, you'll get both great offers in one huge sale. Plus, the first 100 customers this Friday get a free grip light flashlight. Only at Art Van's big after Thanksgiving sale. This Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Hi. My car's out front. We'll get started right away. <laughs> Introducing Five Star, a new approach to selling and servicing cars and trucks. You're all set. Great job, guys. Let's run that drill again. Five Star, certified training so rigorous, only the best make the cut. It's better, and we'll prove it. Only where you see these signs. I'm so excited. It's Target's two-day sale. What if I ever sleep? What if I forget my checkbook? Target has Garth Brooks' latest releases, The Magic of Christmas, and Garth Brooks in the Life of Chris Gaines. <laughs> I love Garth. I love Chris. I don't know who I love more. Target's two-day sale starts Friday. Come in early for incredible savings and surprises. <laughs> Need a map? Oh, come on! We've got to get to Target! There by the spirit of Detroit, and what better way to talk about the spirit of Detroit than what happens here on Thanksgiving Day? You can feel it. Welcome back. America's Thanksgiving Parade is about to begin, and there is a lot of excitement around And, here. Devin, you know, I'm also excited to see this next group. It's yeah. tap dancing, or tap dancers, who are featured in the latest interpretation of that classic tune you've heard <laughs> before. Go for it. It has become a classic. Let's go right down the parade route for a special performance from some very talented tappers. Yeah. Oh, that was great. As Carmen and Denver mentioned, those dancers are featured in our new version of the Go For It video. So we want to present to you now the world premiere of our new video, Go For It.
Hey, I'm over here with uh, Lynn Feldhaus from Daimler Chrysler. Good That's to right. see you. Good to see you. Who are the girls? Hi, girls. It's my daughter, Catherine, Hi. and her friend, Ann. Well, we're Hi. at the official pace car. Actually, it's more of a pace van, right? Well, yeah, it's more like a pace minivan. This is pretty cool. Now, this is donated by Daimler Chrysler, Absolutely. and then ASC is uh, decked it all out? That's right. Well, you get the whole parade started, so I'm going to let you take oh, off no, and have a good time. You know, nobody comes without me, but you know what, Chuck? There's a parade behind well, me. Well, let's go, then. Let's go. Good to see you, Lynn. See you Back to you guys. Let's get it all started. Bye, ladies. Here we go. All right, Chuck. We are, as we mentioned earlier, the parade starts well up the route. Just a few minutes. It's going to be right here behind us in front of, behind this beautiful window that we have. Our lovely step back. There goes the pace car. Right <laughs> as we speak. That means that the parade yeah. is almost getting ready to start. And certainly the kids have been lined up with their parents along Woodward Avenue, trying to just control their excitement and enthusiasm Should for the parade have, we've expect, We expect over a million people to join us downtown today. Of course, perfect weather is going to help that. I talked to the mayor last evening. They were making preparations to have a bigger crowd than usual. And we certainly hope that you're enjoying what you've seen so far because we've got a lot more to come. The excitement continues to build as the parade gets underway. We want you to stay right there. We'll be right back. In right, just a couple of minutes, we'll be joined here by our national television audience, Coast to Coast, a chance for Detroit to show off all the beautiful things that are happening in downtown Detroit. Stick around. America's Thanksgiving Parade continues. Carmen Harlan, and Devin Skillian, Jamal. Chuck Adica, and Steve Garajola, and about a million or so friends. <laughs> Stay right there. We'll be right back after this. America's Thanksgiving Parade is presented in part by Dodge. Do not follow. Do not conform. Be different. Arby's. Love food? Think Arby's. Media Play. Your entertainment superstore. MGM Grand Casino. Step into the spotlight. Omnipoint. Wireless takes the next step. Oakwood St. John Providence Select Care. Your community health care family. Yeah, I just want to say hello to everybody out there in Detroit. I love my son. Walk up, push the green button, and the next 30 seconds of your life could be on Channel 4. Hey, Corky! And have a lot of fun. Push green and be seen. Hey, supply trombone. What do you have to say? Look for MeTV booths at the Channel 4 Studios downtown Detroit, Star Theater in Southfield, and Mr. B's in Royal Oak. MeTV, only on Channel 4. It may be chilly outside, but the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride-all-day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. So come down to the Kobo Carnival. Be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. Time again for the Media Play Challenge. Today's challenge, can you find a gift here for under $20? Yes, I have this single CD for $3.99. I found this NASCAR play set for my nephew. Is there a lot of stuff for kids under $20 here? Silly buddy. No, that's way under $20. CD, $14.99. You think you found something? This new genuine CD is going to work out just fine. Blank tapes. Can you find gifts for under $20 here? I got him a book. There's always something for under $20. Media Play for gifts. An OmniPoint phone makes a really useful holiday gift because it's the only wireless phone with a brain. It can send a message from one OmniPoint phone to another or email it from your computer or send voicemail. Oh, one more thing. I love you, Daddy. Ah, OmniPoint! The gift that keeps on giving. Activate by December 31st and get 400 local minutes a month for just $39.99 with contract. Jeff Daniels brings two classic Michigan tales to life Saturday at 7, only on 4. Live from Detroit, this morning dreams will be made as we bring you the fun and tradition of America's Thanksgiving Parade. America's Thanksgiving Parade is presented by Jeep, Jeep Grand Cherokee, with legendary off-road capability, and by Dodge. Do not follow, do not conform, be different. You are looking live as nearly one million people line Woodward Avenue in anticipation of one of Detroit's oldest and most cherished holiday traditions. Good morning. Very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Welcome to America's Thanksgiving Parade. I'm Devin Skillian. And I'm Carmen Harlan. Thanks for joining us on this, the 73rd anniversary of this exciting parade. 
Also with us today are Steve Garagiola, who will bring us the classic stories from the parade storybook, Once Upon a Parade, and our own Chuck Gatica, who will be right down in the middle of all the action. Plus, keep your eyes open. You'll see our pop-up parade facts coming up now and then. So here we go. You saw all the action coming down Woodward. Let's get underway with America's Thanksgiving Parade. All right. And we kick things off with the Troy Athens Red Hawk Marching Band. Athens High School out of Troy, Michigan, under the direction of F. Fred Junod, assistant Jeff Bennis, and music arranger Chris Thompson. Now, you know, there are 146 musicians and 24 auxiliary members in this high school band. The band was named Best Band of the 1998 America's Thanksgiving Parade. Let's take a listen, because I'm sure they're going to join in again. by Daimler Chrysler, and what would the holiday of Thanksgiving be without a bountiful feast? Chances are pretty good. You're starting to work on the feast around your house this morning, and I think that's the, the nod to which this float makes it Thanksgiving Day. We should mention, too, that the famous group, Up With People, comprised of hundreds of, uh, I should say hundreds, but several college students around from around the country, make up this group, Up With People, and it certainly reflects Daimler Chrysler's commitment to education and youth in this country. By the way, you're going to be seeing a lot of new floats this year coming down Woodward for the first time. And uh, all of the new floats you'll see use a special product called Super 77 Spray. Write that down. It was generously provided to the parade company by 3M and the 3M Adhesive Division. And I think you will notice a new look for a lot of the floats. All right, this year. let's take a look. Up With People is about 700 college-age students who, of course, spend their a couple of years traveling all over the world bringing music to people. Great experience, of course, for the students, but also great for people who get to hear them. All right, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I know you've heard that question before, but Omnipoint Communication certainly tried to find her, and they did it with this wonderful float. It's people and cultures and countries from all around the world. Look at how it's spinning around. It's very interactive, and certainly those are the people who are looking for Carmen San Diego, too. I'd say 13 and a half foot tall globe rotating around you'll see some of the world's most popular landmarks on it the taj mahal the sphinx uh, the eiffel tower is there statue of liberty and even at the very top the north pole we talked about all the new animation we were going to see on the coast Great, great stuff. And as you see, uh, the, along the parade route, we're expecting more than a million people down here. People like Steve Garciola, who's just down the parade route from us. Hi, Steve. Hey, who's that cool cat coming down Woodward Avenue there, huh? Hickory Dickory Dock, presented by the city of Detroit. You may not realize that almost all of the departments in the city are directly involved in today's spectacular event. And that's why we'd all like to thank these tireless city workers. They give up their holidays to help stage what has become a cherished civic event in this city. And we certainly Anytime. couldn't do it without them. The music you're hearing, the it wonderful sounds of Hello Detroit, performed by Robert St. Thomas. Is the right time to be with you. Hello Detroit, you warm my heart. Your renaissance and waterfront a flare of your own irresistible you 
hug and kiss up on you. You're alive with so much feeling, and I will always be there to come for you. And I will say, well, we're live on Woodward Avenue, and these are the uh, Budweiser Clydesdales, brought to you by Anheuser Busch and the local uh, distributor of Great Lakes Beverage. You know, these uh, horses have been delighting audiences since 1933. Look at the size of those horses. They were actually brought in from Scotland back in the 1800s. And just to give you an idea why the clowns and their cart behind the horses are so important, their typical diet, Carmen and Devin, is uh, supersized. 25 quarts of feed, 50 to 60 pounds of hay a day. We'll be right back after this with more of America's Parade. everybody on your list at the famous Mervyn's California two-for-one sale. But come early. Only the first 700 people get this collectible figurine absolutely free. Store opens at 7. But the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride all day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. So come down to the Kobo Carnival. Be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. Going punctuating everything he everything he sang by occasionally saying "shut up," which became our tagline. Of course, walking around the street this morning, and maybe shut up. even and maybe even today too. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Appleseed follows the king of rock and roll. Brought to you by Detroit Edison. He's presented today uh, by the Detroit Edison Foundation. It has and, been for the last five years. Yep, Detroit Edison, a very special support of the parade. Many of the parades. 2,000 volunteers or Edison employees, as a matter of fact, who end up working on the parade, of course, all year round. Do you know Johnny Appleseed is 45 feet tall, and each of the apples in his backpack are individually wrapped 
They can flow too because they're filled with helium. Right. Johnny Appleseed's real name was John Chapman, who was the man who actually did walk the Midwestern countryside planting apple trees during the pioneer days and became this legendary figure that we see now, Johnny Appleseed. We certainly want to welcome him to this parade on Thanksgiving morning. Steve, how does it look from there? Hey, it's great down at this end. This might be one of my favorites in the parade. If you give a mouse a cookie, presented by Bank One, this float is a wonderful adaptation of a contemporary children's book it's written by Laura Jaffe Numeroff called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. It's about a little boy who gave a mouse a cookie and thus began just a delightful series of adventures. It's a self-propelled float sponsored by Bank One, recreates many of the story's playful activities, included 30 huge chocolate chip cookies, a six foot glass of milk, of course you need a 10 foot tall mop to clean up some of those messes, and a 12 foot tall refrigerator to display all the mouse's drawings. All right, here's something very special to everybody who knows this parade, the Art Van Family Carriage. The Northville Carriage has provided a special ride for Art Van Elslander's family and what a special part he has played in this parade. Oh, and here comes old King Cole. The Art Van Furniture Company presents this float. You know, old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, he called for his bowl, and he called for his Fiddler's Three. And those three fiddlers are fiddling away. The jester is jamming on the accordion, and everybody is having lots of fun in parade land. This is America's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and we'll be right back. may be chilly outside, but the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride-all-day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. To come down to the Kobo Carnival, be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. And you are... The Tooth Fairy. Can we speak in private? You uh, visited us? Just the ones who aren't getting a gold star for brushing. But I'm brush. Miss Bonner, get with the program. You're missing the plaque between your bicuspids, and it isn't pretty. You can see that? I can see through pillows. Sonicare's sonic technology uses 31,000 brush strokes per minute and removes nearly twice as much plaque between teeth as a manual brush. Sonicare. Gentlemen. Once in a decade comes a movie with the power to touch everyone who sees it. A movie as passionate as it is epic. Promise me you'll come back for me. I promise. I'll come back for you. See why love is a passion that can tear a life apart or set it free. The English Patient, the winner of nine Academy Awards including Best Picture. See the network television premiere only on TNT. Besides its legendary power, payload, and overall toughness, Dodge Ram is also the longest-lasting line of full-size pickups on the road. And now, Ram also offers exceptionally low financing. We've just made it easier to separate yourself from the crowd. Dodge Ram. Different. <laughs> America's Thanksgiving Parade as Clowney makes his entrance. We've really seen a lot of people today wearing Clowney on both hats or jackets because Clowney is kind of the national symbol of You know, we've seen some familiar floats and certainly this is one of those familiar ones. We've got some brand new ones too and certainly uh, Clowney has represented Kmart Corporation for a number of years and certainly a very familiar uh, float here in the, in the parade. And let's take a look at him. There he is right there, Devin. 
he's the colorful mascot and symbol of the parade company. Lots of stars and ribbons and lots of bold colors. And I mentioned the hats and the jackets. All of that, of course, is called clowny wear. And it becomes a big part of the, of the lives of the people who work on this parade, not just on Thanksgiving Day, but 365 days a year. You know, you're talking about the spirit of volunteerism when you talk about the success of the Thanksgiving Day Parade, because without the volunteers, believe me, we couldn't put this on. But clowny was originally built to honor the parade's distinguished clown corps. He now stands as a proud symbol of America's Thanksgiving Parade. What a gorgeous day it is here in Detroit. Well, there's a couple of clouds up there uh, behind Clowney, as you can see, but temperature-wise, just couldn't be better. Probably getting close to about 40 degrees now. Great parade weather, especially when you see the rain that they're having in other parts of the country today. So about a million, probably more than a million people before it's all said and done. We get done counting today. More than a million people coming to downtown Detroit as they did last year. Oh boy, and speaking of clowns, we've got lots of them rolling down Woodward Avenue right now. This is a specialty unit, and it's sponsored by Viscount Spas, Pools, and Billiards. Call for marchers, but this unit keeps these clowns head over heels with excitement, and you can see why. We got about two miles worth of rolling in the day. They'll be a little busy by the time they're done. You know, there's no lightweights either. Each one of those clowns weighs over about 200 pounds, and certainly they're pulling up their rear, clowning first, and now the rolling clowns. These clowns are actually uh, more than 70 years old. They are a part of the parade's treasured collection of uh, antique heads that comes to us from uh, Viareggio, Italy, uh, and they've become kind of a signature part of the parade really over the years. Have. My goodness, we see the. The Hummer, and this is uh, quite a take me out to the ball game flow, sponsored by 96.3, The Planet. And we want to welcome them to uh, Johnny in the Morning. I guess he's on the well, Johnny on the Zito, float. Catherine Leslie, and Haji, uh, some of the other on air folks from uh, The Planet, 96.3 here That's in Detroit. That's right. There you see them waving. Now, this depicts a scene from the turn of the century baseball field, complete with a diamond, batter, and umpire, hot dogs, and Soda vendors, don't mention hot dogs. Please don't. <laughs> a, light, a lighted scoreboard with the winning 96.3 score. The planet, we should mention, is the official FM station of the parade, and they'll be providing parade highlights and, uh, throughout the day. And then when they're not doing that, modern hits of the 80s and 90s. And yeah, what do you think that guy right there is saying? Yeah, yo, throw the ball over here. Whatever he's, uh, he's uh, well, it's hard to say whether he's out or safe. <laughs> Also, we should mention while we're talking about radio, their sister station, WJR, the mighty voice of the Great Lakes, 760 AM, they're providing parade coverage all morning as well. That's right. So you, there's no reason to miss this at all, believe me. And again, we want to welcome, take me out to the ball game, Planet 96.3. from a number of groups so far this morning. We've got a lot more to come. Lots of music, lots of clowns, lots of excitement. You know, speaking of baseball, of course, uh, the return to big-time baseball is a big part of uh, what's going on in Detroit right now. Just up Woodward from where we sit, uh, the finishing touches are being put on uh, the new... Stadium for the Tigers, Comerica Park, which makes its big debut coming up next April. And we were talking about bands just a minute ago. The South Johnston High School Band joins us this morning, and they come to us from Four Oaks, North Carolina. They traveled far this morning, yeah. but we want to welcome them here to the America's Thanksgiving Parade and wish them a wonderful holiday. They're under the direction of Mr. Chuck Allen and Mr. Paul Black, 145 band members. 20 members of the Color Guard, they've won a lot of awards of excellence, but what a great thrill here in high school to get to make a big trip like this halfway across the country for a Thanksgiving parade. All right, let's take a listen.
continues in just a minute. Stick around. I'm so excited. It's Target's two-day sale. What if I ever sleep? What if I forget my checkbook? Target has Garth Brooks' latest releases, The Magic of Christmas, and Garth Brooks and the Life of Chris Gaines. <laughs> I love Garth. I love Chris. I don't know who I love more. Target's two-day sale starts Friday. Come in early for incredible savings and surprises. Need a map? Oh, come on! I've got to get to Target! So, what's in the blue box? in the blue box? The financial answers you need in life. As an entertainer, I'm a perfectionist. That goes double when I entertain for the holidays. Introducing Arby's Winter Tulip Tumblers. Everything has to be just right, down to the last detail. With a 22 karat gold rim and a lovely winter scene. For elegance, I spare no expense. And they're just 99 cents each. Okay, but that can be our little secret. Entertain in style with Arby's new winter tulip tumblers. Just 99 cents each with each soft drink purchase. Ever wish you could... Tell someone the gift you wanted for Media Play? Well, here's your chance. What I really want for Christmas is a Nintendo 64. I want this Metallica t-shirt. I just want a bass guitar. South Park, dude. Greeny beanie. I really want this bongo drum. This is what I want. Hey, Mommy, I want this Pokemon movie. Can I have this, Mom? Admit it. The gifts you want are at Media Play. You just gotta ask. Media Play! Media Play! For gifts. Looking at just some of the million people who are lining Woodward Avenue in Detroit, and now we see the float that was the very first float that the parade ever had. Can you believe this, right. Devin? Mother Goose was the first float back in the parade many years ago. Believe it or not, it was pulled by horses, and it certainly has <laughs> come a long way today. I think we've got to look at what the parade looked like back then, or what Mother Goose looked like back then, and this is what she looks like today. Just kept adding to it over the years, making improvements. So it's obviously a part of the rich tapestry that is this parade history. And we want to thank CBS Pharmacy, the proud sponsor of an updated version of the parade's first float. The, the Applebaum family is riding uh, this wing-flapping float. Oh, so are the Chenille sisters, a, a trio of sisters who got their start 13 years ago singing in Ann Arbor. And they were awarded the 1998 Silver Angel Award and got a Michigan Emmy yeah, nomination for their holiday special, The Secret Box, a couple years ago. All right. And I'm sure if you wave, they'll wave back. And following closely behind, Noah's Ark, brought to you by General Motors. There are 17 animated animals on this club another updated version of a float that's been around for about 40 years. In fact, I think we've got a picture of this one as well. We can show you what the Noah's Ark used to look like. Uh, another float that's undergone a few changes over the years. There you see it. Quite a change from 40 years ago. Today, 17 animals. Walruses, two snakes, a hippo, a starfish, a zebra, a tiger, two otters, a unicorn, a rat, a giraffe, two ostriches, an elk, a sea lion, and a monkey. Now, when have you ever seen animated figures do this? They're twirling and spinning and floating and waving, dazzling just about everyone along this parade route. 32-foot-long arc, an elephant who has a waist that is 21 feet in size. Like a 21, a size 21 feet waist. All right, see what does it look like from there? Hey, there's some good-looking guys in that float. Oh, boy, here's the one my daughters have been waiting for. Plymouth Rocks, brought to you by JBL. Thanks to JBL, we are meeting Joey Fatone. He's one of the singers for Instinct, one of the hottest groups in the world right now. I've got a special guest with me watching this parade, the mayor of this city. Hey, Roger, good morning. Steve, good morning. It's a pleasure to see you up late, as opposed to being up so early in the morning, starting out my day. Isn't this parade great? 
you've got to be so proud of what's going on here. I'm very proud of the American Thanksgiving Parade, and I want to thank WDIV for making this happen again. Boy, the whole crew, everybody's been out working hard. Thank you for making this so great for all of our children and kids, and big children who can't get down here to the parade to join 1.3 million people. The JBL sponsoring this great float, Joey Fatone. Chuck, it was a hit. Look at this. These, look at this cloud core here. These are distinguished cloud core. The big wigs, they're civic and business leaders, and they have silly string on board along with candy. This is brought to us by Getz Candy Company, Global Electric Cars. That's the little vehicle you see. They're all driving around in, hitting all the kids, big and old and young alike, with candy and with the uh, silly string. And uh, also, Gets Candy gets some help from the uh, Michigan Cat Company. Oh, thanks. There it goes again. Oh, man, alive. And they need the Michigan Cat help because those are the guys that lift the candy into the trunks of all of these vehicles. Yeah, good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Listen, Devin, Carmen, next year, could I work out something where maybe I could just rent the basement out of your facility? <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Chuck, we like you, right? Oh, you're looking oh, good. You no. look great. Well, at least it's not gone. You're right. I think it comes <laughs> off after a week. All right. We'll be, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> It may be chilly outside, but the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride all day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. So come down to the Kobo Carnival. Be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400. Thanksgiving sale. Let the season begin. To your health and to every precious moment of your life. We commit ourselves. St. John Health System. An OmniPoint phone makes a really useful holiday gift because it's the only wireless phone with a brain. It can send a message from one OmniPoint phone to another or email it from your computer or send voicemail. Oh, one more thing. I love you, Daddy. Ah, OmniPoint! The gift that keeps on giving. Activate by December 31st and get 400 local minutes a month for just $39.99 with contract. You're in for a And they're saying hello from the American Thanksgiving Parade along Woodward Avenue here in downtown Detroit. And I'm Carmen Cullen along with Devin Fillion. Good morning to you. Great to have you with us. A very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours from the great city of Detroit. We mentioned just a few minutes ago the important chapter that is about to unfold in our city coming up next spring as we unveil a brand new era in Detroit Tiger baseball. If you talk about Detroit Tiger baseball, you're going back a long way. Well, they captured it here tonight, or I should say this morning. This is Comerica Park, brought to you by Comerica Incorporated and the Detroit Tigers. And Detroit is Tiger Town, believe it. We're known for cards, but we're also known for baseball. And you can feel the passion, can you? Moving down Woodward Avenue here today. The music you're hearing, of course, very fitting, the eye of the tiger. This uh, beautiful carousel that you're seeing there is actually a replica of what will be a part of the new baseball stadium. It will include a carousel just like that with tigers for kids to get on and ride. You know, as we get a closer look at this close that moves down Woodward Avenue, you're going to see some familiar faces. Yeah. Gates Brown, yeah. who played with the Detroit Tigers from 1963 to 1975, will be waving to all of you at home, wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. 
Eileen Gaboski, who is celebrating her 43rd year of service to America. What an honor to be asked to be on this club. And then at the other end, we've got a 10-year-old. 10-year-old Mary Liliana O'Brien Cavari. She's from the Think Detroit Little League. Uh, Clarence Jenkins is representing Negro League Baseball. Mr. Jenkins was honored this year by the Museum of African American History. And finally, uh, another wild chapter of American baseball. Helen Steffes played with the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. Do you remember the movie, A League of Their Own? Uh, she played from 1945 to 1950. So great, great history in Detroit when it comes to baseball. And all of that history represented here on this terrific float. Like Santa Bear, he's got his own car this year. He's moving up in the world, Devin. Santa Bear's traveling in style now. Hudson special cuddly Christmas bear, always a favorite this time of year. And that lets you know that the Hudson float is not too far behind. And the Hudson float has one of our very special guests. We all just love hearing this since we heard that she was going to be here. Shirley Jones is here. This is the 12 days of Christmas. So what, of course, would Shirley Jones be? The partridge in a pear tree. And that is Hudson right. saluting a partridge in a pear tree this year with a festive parade. So you add up all of the people here, because this surrounding the, we don't we have not only a partridge in a pear tree, but you also have to have of course two turtle doves, and three French hens, and four calling birds, and five and golden so rings, and so on and so on and so on. Seven swans are swimming. They are all there. Six people laying. The eight maids are milking, and the nine drummers drumming, and the ten pipers piping. The 11 ladies dancing and 12 lords of leaders. Now that one got me. In fact, they've even got the song there. You can hear it. Now have we... These are all Hudson's employees who are taking part as the, uh, as the walkers. Did we get a glimpse of Shirley Jones? I know we saw a banner saying that she's there on the float. <laughs> not only a great idea for a float, but it obviously also represents quite a commitment. And there, there you see her, the partridge in a pair of trees, Shirley Jones, of course, made her mark as one of America's favorite television moms. And before that, when one of the great American films of all time, she was Laurie in the film Oklahoma. Oh, certainly, and I remember her from uh, Inherit the Wind and... Uh, so many great things she's done. Carousel was actually the one I was yeah, thinking Carousel, of. Yeah. She's a rather frequent visitor to Detroit, has good friends here and comes back to see them quite a bit, we understand. So, uh... All right. And he's a favorite, believe me. Every year kids love to ask for if they haven't actually seen him on stage in the Sesame Street productions that come to Detroit. But Elmo is brought to you by Kmart Corporation. He's making his way down Woodward Avenue. In fact, I told my son the other day, I said, you're my favorite Elmo. If, oh. there, is, if there was ever Joey one. Joey is kind of an Elmo, you're right. He is. Stockings, cap, and scarf there. Elmo ready for Michigan's wintry weather, which we uh, really don't have today. A beautiful fall day in southeast Michigan. Takes 13 balloon handlers to keep a grip on Elmo because he's 50 feet tall. Now, you know he doesn't look that big on TV, but you have to be <laughs> down here in real life to see him. But he certainly looks like he's having a good time along with a million other people who have joined us for this Thanksgiving Day Parade. This is another touch of Kmart. We saw um, Clowney earlier, and we thank Kmart for adding a bit of Sesame Street you, to it or whatever. Do you hear them calling out and saying, <laughs> no, that's a star. <laughs> Steve, do you hear the cheers for Elmo? Elmo! Elmo! <laughs> oh, he's our hero! Hey, you're looking at the Distinguished Clown Corps right now. Without their makeup, you'd probably recognize some of these people, the best-known corporate and civic leaders of Detroit. Each year, the clowns make a generous contribution to the parade as being part of a Distinguished Clown. The Grand Jesters, David Brandon, Frank Stella, and Maggie Allisey. What a great group of people. Mayor Archer is still up here with me. Hey, Mayor, you know, it just occurred to me in a couple of years after the parade, we can walk down the street for something pretty just important. Just turn right around, take a, a couple of blocks walk, and we'll be right there for the tailgating party for the Lions as we feast again on victory. The nation looking at a 
pretty bright and happy Detroit this morning. Absolutely. The, the weather couldn't be better for us. I thank the Lord for that. And I, the crowds are wonderful. The children and the big children like you and I are having good fun, too. <laughs> Absolutely. The distinguished clowns, by the way, passing out candy as they go along the way. They have an unlimited supply of candy from uh, the Michigan Cat Refilling Stations. 3,000 pounds of candy supplied by the Getz Candy Company. The dentist will that's love a, them come, come next week. <laughs> that's a lot of candy. By the way, the clowns get different types of suits depending upon their years of service. Five-year clowns have silver costumes. Ten-year clowns have gold costumes. And 15-year members, well, they go big time. They get to wear the capes. And right behind the clowns, the Greenfield Village Omnibuses. Now, this is new to the Thanksgiving Parade this year. The Omnibuses from Henry Ford Museum in Greenfield Village. Historically, in the early 20th century, this type of omnibus provided all the public transportation around the city, celebrating its 70th anniversary this year. Henry Ford Museum in Greenfield Village considered the nation's largest indoor-outdoor museum. It covers more than 100 acres in Dearborn, Michigan. There's no end to the fun here, Mayor. Absolutely, and Steve, they're one of our top uh, places that tourists want to go when they come here to the city of Detroit. They want to go out there and take a look at the great things that we've got. We really have a lot to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. This is America's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and we'll be right back. This Friday and Saturday, it's Art Van's Ultimate Mattress Sale. Save 35 to 50% off all premium mattress sets. All Sealy Foster Pedi, all Simmons Beauty Rest, all King Coil Foster Bond, all Stearns and Foster Luxurious Mattress Sets, and there's zero percent interest for two full years with no down payment. Plus, Mattress Express gives you free next day delivery, or your mattress is free. For 35 to 50 percent savings on all mattresses, hurry to the ultimate mattress sale this Friday and Saturday only at Art Van. you could just tell someone the gift you wanted for media play well here's your chance what i really want for christmas is a nintendo 64. i want this metallica t-shirt i just want a bass guitar south park dude Greedy beanie i really want this bongo drum this is what i want hey mommy i want this pokemon movie can i have this mom admit it the gifts you want are at media play you just gotta ask media play media play screaming and yelling this year. Isn't it something to add? You know, they've got a lot of screaming and yelling out there. A lot of excitement here. The men's have been good. The floats have been spectacular. The uh, enthusiasm, the energy the that's is alive is just really wonderful on this Thanksgiving morning. You're looking at a, a live shot down Woodward Avenue here in downtown Detroit as we want to welcome the Hartville High School Marching Brigade. From Hartville, Missouri. Yes, indeed. The Eagles Band. This band is 153 members, and get this, that is 40% of the high school's enrollment. Look so you've got to be in the band if you want to know what's going on in Hartville. All right, and we want to welcome them here to uh, Detroit this Thanksgiving and wish you and yours a wonderful holiday. For the past 10 years, the Eagles Band has won uh, more than 110 marching trophies. Uh, they've performed for former President Bush, Major League Baseball games. They've been all over the place. It's great to have them in Michigan this time around. All right, let's take a listen.
ball, Dennis? I sure do. Humpty Dumpty, and he is the Skillman Foundation balloon this year. How are you? And each year, thousands of school children submit drawings to the parade in hopes of being there are transformed into a parade float. And this one made it. This is the colorful design created by 11-year-old Ashley Olofsky from Whitehall, Michigan. And imagine the thrill if you're a kid. You draw it on a piece of paper, you submit it to the contest, and a couple of months later, ta-da, it is floating its way down Woodward Avenue in one of America's biggest Thanksgiving parades. Oh, and he looks rather dapper. He doesn't look like he's going to take any falls no, today. That's great. Humpty Dumpty is 25 feet high, got a pocket watch there, pinstripe breeches and a hat, and that's an egg that is really cooking, we might say. <laughs> You're doing cooking around your place today. Oh, lots of cooking being done today, and certainly we want to welcome Humpty Dumpty. Chuck? Well, Carmen Devon, I'm down here on the uh, Skillman Foundation winner for the float, and this is Elizabeth Stone from Gross Point Park. You designed this, right? Yes. How did you come up with this idea for Hansel and Gretel? Um, it's my favorite story book. And take a look at what they did for you. I mean, they turned this into a, a wonderland of all kinds of candy and, oh, man, frosting. I wish I could eat some of this this morning. How about you? Um, you yeah. Very proud. Now, you know, the Skillman Foundation is a private grant-making foundation dedicated to helping Michigan school system and uh, school children. JBL Sound System is on board. What a wonderful float. And Elizabeth, you and your family, happy Thanksgiving. What a great job. Isn't that cool, Carmen Devon, from somebody's idea to a float coming down Woodward Avenue? Happy Thanksgiving. That is terrific. All right, Chuck. And we are joined back here now uh, at our spot along the parade route. Um, oh, I'm sorry. We need to go to Steve first. I'm getting myself a little confused ahead of myself. We'll have a very special guest in just a minute. Let's go to Steve first. He's also with a special guest. You have my own special guest. Bud Liebler is here, Vice President of Marketing with Time McCarthy. Bud, happy Thanksgiving to happy you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too, Steve, and to everybody else out there. You know, when the, the merger happened, I think there were a lot of people who were afraid that Chrysler was going to disappear from our area. Still, the commitment is so strong from Diamond. The, the commitment is strong as ever, maybe stronger than ever, and what a great time to be committed to Detroit. I mean, there's so much terrific stuff going on here, but the announcement yesterday and the parade today, the sun is shining. I mean, we want to be here. We're, we're committed to Detroit long term. Oh, and look out, there are bees on the loose. Those are the old country buffet bees. You know, this swarm of bees is all a buzz today. They're brought to you by Old Country Buffet. Served up great meals at eight great locations throughout the Detroit metro area. And thanks to them for feeding Santa's elves at the parade studio. We need those bees working hard. And following the bees, they better look out because it's a winter wonderland. Brought to you by Illich Ventures. Thanksgiving heralds the fun of wintry days ahead. Time to take out the skates, sharpen the blades. Illich Ventures presents this playful and exciting wonderland. And you're looking at the current 1999 U.S. and World Junior Ice Dance Champions, Jamie Silverstein and Justin Fekarik, showing off their talents. And if you're wondering how they keep that ice frozen, it's special artificial ice called Super Ice. American Ice provided the special surface so they could demonstrate today. The ice rink, held by a nine-foot-tall ice skater. I know he's got strong legs. Colorful candy canes, 12 snowmen, just a beautiful float. Carmen, Devin. All right, thank you, Steve, and certainly we've got a, a wonderful guest here. We've got the Penguin who's making his way down Woodward Avenue, and the Penguin is a, more of a mascot for the Hobnobble Gobble Mike, don't right, you think, right, Devin? Right. He's all dressed up, as you can see, in a tux and a bow tie, and he probably partied a little bit last night. The Penguin is, has, of course, one of the great folklore stories of this uh, marvelous parade. Years ago, the night before the parade, uh, he broke loose from his moorings and flew to Canada. <laughs> Only a penguin, of course, would migrate to Canada in the fall. Uh, but they finally got him back, and he's been a part of the parade ever since. That was a spur of the moment decision. You know how those things go. We've got Rhythm Kids coming up behind the penguin, and these are step dancers from the Detroit area. They were discovered by the parade company at the We Want Wild Talent Search. This is the, their debut of the parade's own Rhythm and Sound Academy drill and step team. Three bears next. One of them, uh, the great stories of all time, of course. A very fun float, if you will. A real Kodiak moment. I can go on and <laughs> on, on if you like. <laughs> You're good, and you will, too, if I don't stop you. But this is a double-decker float. 
three bears. It measures about 30 feet long and 12 feet wide. These things are truly something to see in person, but we hope you're enjoying it and here on WDIV. while we're watching that, we are so delighted to welcome our partridge in a pear tree today, Shirley Jones, who just uh, finished her trip down the parade It was route. so nice of you to get off of that photo. Yes. It was a beautiful photo. It was nice of me, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We thought that was such a great idea when yeah, we first it really, heard about it. Really it. Did you have any idea fun. like what it was going to look yeah, like? Yeah, I kind not? of had, they gave me an idea, you know, but they did it so beautifully. I, I must say, you know, all of the, the, the other people, they, they did so well. It was great. Do people still come up great and ask fun. you about the Partridge family? Oh, sure, and, of course. Yeah, and all the know, stories and five years on television you know well I and it was just Parker. five years but it was a part of an era where i imagine everybody comes up to you almost feeling like you're a part of the family they do you know i'm everybody's mother <laughs> <laughs> you know that can be a good thing and sometimes yeah, not right. I, exactly right <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh you spend the rest of your thanksgiving holiday i'm getting on an airplane to go home and, and i'll have thanksgiving with my husband so we did mention earlier while you were on, on the on the float that uh, you've got some friends in Detroit and a uh, frequent visitor here. Yes, I have been. My aunt lives here. She's passed away now, but she lived here all of her life. And I would come at least twice a year to visit. She was like my second mother. So we're well, we're glad that you came and spent a little bit of your Thanksgiving I like holiday Detroit with a lot. Thank all you. All right, Shirley Jones, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. To we'll you. be right back. ProFlowers.com. Handpicked by you online while still growing, ProFlowers are cut to order, then rushed from the growers direct to you. They'll bloom before your eyes and stay fresh for seven days, guaranteed. Online or by phone, pick the flowers that are guaranteed to last. ProFlowers.com. Order by December 2nd and get free FedEx overnight delivery. Just type in free at the ProFlowers website. think health care only comes in one color. Honey, I'm home. How was your day, dear? Swell. And they miss out on benefits like being satisfied with your doctor, regular checkups and physicals, and lower costs. Things you really want in a health care company. Sometimes, the answer can come right out of the blue. Select care. Make the change. Looking for something for the person who has everything? I bet they don't have one of these. It's the MediaPlay gift card. The gift card comes in any amount. It's up to you. How about this many? The MediaPlay gift card is great because it's so easy to wrap. There, that's easy. You can use this in store or at our new website at MediaPlay.com. And just like this, when it's empty, the MediaPlay gift card is refillable. Hmm, tastes like chicken. MediaPlay. Breaking some new ground this year. Hopefully, we won't be breaking any skin as Look we take this. this journey to the cutting edge for the parade this year. Modern skate and surf, Carmen. Really, a crowd pleaser. When they came on along the scene, people just really reacted very strong. <laughs> Lots of screams. I guess they recognize what a skill this takes to be able to skateboard. Whoa! Look at that. Check that Without out. falling down. Some of the skaters here. Uh, this is some of the skating wizardry of the skateboard kings, Toss Pappas and Chris Gentry, who are among uh, the premier skaters in the country, taking their turns on this half pipe on wheel. Look at this. Now, this one is 40 feet long, 16 feet wide. And some of the stunts that they're performing, they include lift tricks. Now, you know I know what this is, right? Invert and 360 airs. That was great stuff. Got your skateboarders out there. They do fakey. That's right. They fakey every once in a while. Great stuff, and uh, obviously right. a, a new addition for the parade. Chuck, Chuck, how about that? Hey, Devin.
Cliff Carmen. I'm out here with the Central Michigan University Percussion Ensemble, directed by Robert Honer. And this is a great group. You know, there are 38 members of this uh, percussion group here on this float today. And uh, they're not only under the direction of somebody from Michigan, but about a third of all of CMU's students actually come from the metro area. So there's a huge connection here to Detroit. They perform with renowned orchestras all across the United States of America. Just listen to this sec, huh? Chuck, you're getting with it there. You yeah, look great. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Got steel drums out there, too. Yeah, it really does. Did you miss early? A little bit of music for everybody. Oh, today. it is. Just behind the percussion band, you can see the feet dangling there from Mishkan's float, or balloon, I should say, the Nutcracker. Of course, one of the most colorful balloons uh, in the parade every year. This is a traditional Christmas gift throughout the Germanic and Bavarian areas of Europe, and it's certainly a welcome addition to this parade. This is rip stop nylon, and they say that that's similar to some jacket material, but believe me, this float is awesome. 3,000 cubic feet of helium is required just to bring him up so he can float down Woodward Avenue. Look at his arm is waving. He's saying, I like that music, too. <laughs> 45 feet high among uh, the most recognizable, I guess, balloons of the parade. It takes 24 balloon handlers there tethered to the Nutcracker to try and keep him on the straight and narrow. Well, we should mention, too, that Mishkan Foundation has supported the parade for more than a decade as part of the Michigan Consolidated Gas Company's commitment to this community, and we want to thank them for the Nutcracker this year. Being a balloon handler along the parade route can be a lot of work, especially as they get down here toward the end of the parade route. There is a people mover stop, a bridge, uh, that they've got to lower the, uh, the balloons beneath to try and get them through, and we were watching them tug away at Elmo just a little while ago. The Nutcracker will be doing the same thing here in just a few minutes. Another shot of what a spectacular fall day in Detroit. It's a beautiful day for a parade. Couldn't have done much better. Lots of music, and you know the story and how the story goes. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Well, Children's Hospital of Michigan has captured that and this float this year. This is, of course, well after we found that the Grinch hated Christmas. In fact, he hated it a lot. This is after his heart grew three sizes that day. And brought Christmas back to the Who's and Whoville. And we've got some Who's walking along with this float. In fact, they're dressed, uh, costume marches dressed as the Who's from Whoville. This comes to us from Children's Hospital, and of course, since 1886, more than 100 years now, Children's Hospital has been committed to the concept that children heal best when families are involved in their treatment and in their recovery. And it's a very, very special uh, institution for so many people. And if you notice, it looks like this sleigh is teetering on the edge mm -hmm, of that yeah. snowy cliff with the Grinch's dog, Max, looking on. But he's not going to fall over today. No, no mishaps today. Another of the fully animated floats here, which is just now starting to get to Steve Garajola. Hi, Steve. Oh, Grinch is in our neighborhood down at this end of the parade. This is the Mid-American Tom Pon All-Star Team, brought to you by Savory Foods. As our beautiful parade has grown each year, so has this group. It's their 13th consecutive year in the parade. In 1986, they started out with 70 participants. This year, 175 performers in this parade. The team members, the high school Tom Pond, are dance team members. They're from Michigan, Illinois, or Indiana, chosen during the summer of the Mid-American Tom Pond Camp. They're selected from over 400 applicants, so this is a pretty select group performing today. They have been all over the country in 1996. They performed at the Olympics. They performed in 93 and 97 at the inaugural parades. They've been to the Fiesta Bowl, the Epcot Center, SeaWorld, the Citrus Bowl, just about everywhere. The Mid-American Pom Poms are under the direction of Karen Bozaitis. They work so hard and they are so talented. This band sound follows behind them the Clearfield Area High School Bison Marching Band. 165 members strong. The Clearfield Bison Marching Band comes to us today from Pennsylvania. 
Bryson Band is part of a comprehensive music program that involves seven different musical ensembles. And it's one of the largest marching bands in Pennsylvania. They participate in events year-round, and we're thrilled to have them here with us. The Bison Marching Band from Pennsylvania. Listen off those instruments. Back to Carmen and Devin. All right, All Steve. Right. We move on to the Parade Driving Club and the Royal Coach Rainy Days Farm. The Parade Driving Club is read by, led by uh, the story with a fringe on top, which I think we'll see in just a minute. You know, Shirley Jones could have been on that from Oklahoma. Like, Oklahoma have, but this kind of chocolate mousse you don't want to serve in a dish, no, because it's a little too big. <laughs> right. He's an Escheron quarter mix horse, and believe me, he's going to take every step of the way in this Thanksgiving Day Parade today. The driver is Chuck Walby who is a member of the board of directors for the parade company. And he makes this a special uh, tribute to the parade every year. The next unit in the driving club is the uh, Auto Top Surrey. Well, there's much more to come to the parade for all of our Detroit viewers, but right now we'd like to say goodbye to our audience from around the country. We're glad that you were able to share this Thanksgiving tradition with us today. On behalf of Carmen Harlan, Chuck Gatica, Steve Garagiola, and everyone here in Detroit, I'm Devin Skillian. We certainly are glad you were here with us for this marvelous tradition in the city of Detroit, wishing you a warm and wonderful holiday season and a very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Now for everyone else, we'll continue on with America's Thanksgiving Parade in just a moment. Locker wants to give you the gift of holiday savings now with our buy one get one at 50% off sale. Buy one thing, anything, even items currently on sale and your second item is 50% off. How easy is that? Get huge discounts on athletic footwear and apparel in every Foot Locker, Lady Foot Locker, and Kids Foot Locker. Get unbelievable savings on all your favorite top brands and get gifts to go for everyone on your holiday list. Hurry in for Foot Locker's buy one get one at 50% off sale today. Some restrictions apply. Discount taken on a lesser priced item. So, what's in the blue box? What's in the blue box? The financial answers you need in life. famous Mervyn's California two-for-one sale. But come early. Only the first 700 people get this collectible figurine absolutely free. Store opens at 7. America's Thanksgiving Parade is presented in part by the Chrysler Corporation, giving you back the romance of driving. Art Van Furniture, we do more for you. Standard Federal, helping you along the way. Hudson's World of Gift Ideas. Mervyn's Big Brands, Small Prices. Target, expect more, pay less. 
What a wonderful day to be in Detroit on this Thanksgiving morning. We want to welcome you back to our coverage of America's Thanksgiving Parade. And here comes one of our favorite units every year. We absolutely love the Fred Hill briefcase drill team. Let's check them out. They've been waiting for this, practicing for this day all year long. Boom, chuck a luck a luck a boom Go, guys. Thanksgiving Parade Community Float this represents nonprofit groups from across the state. Submitted applications to the Parade Foundation to be recognized on this float today. A little and, engine that could. And this year, the Parade's Board of Directors selected Gleaners Food Bank, uh, the International Association of Lions Clubs, and Carmano's Cancer Center to be represented on the float. Along with Cal, the Police Athletic Fleet is also on the board distributing Parade Storybooks, courtesy of Ford Motor Company. You might be able to hear the bell. This really is the loudest I remember the crowd being <laughs> at America's Thanksgiving Parade. Well, there, one reason could be the Blue Pigs, and they're a, uh, a, always a crowd favorite this year. Each member of the Blue Pigs rock and roll band are certified crime prevention officers. That's another way of saying that they're cops. They're police. <laughs> they're marching along with the Blue Pigs. It's Chief Benny Napoleon. I don't know. Is he going to sing today? <laughs> One of the important things to note about the Blue Pigs is that they use music to help promote a positive relationship between the police and the community, and they've done it effectively for a number of years. They really Welcome. have become great ambassadors, especially when they're around kids. So what a great thing to take your message of, of safety or whatever it is you're trying to get across to kids and do it through music, and that's what the Blue Pigs are all about. Well, this is the house that Jack built. Which, of from course, would have to come to us from Farmer Jack. Right. And they're sponsored by Farmer Jack, a long-time supporter of the parade, based on the nursery rhyme, the house that Jack built. Now, you see on the front of the float there, Jack is cutting wood for his house, and the saw blade uh, actually turns, as we may be able to get a shot of that. And on the float, Jack, the cat, the rat, the cow, the rooster, and, of course, the house that Jack built. All right. I wonder if he's having Thanksgiving dinner today, too, because <laughs> this is the fourth year that Farmer Jack has sponsored the parade favorite, and celebration Farmer Jack is distributing colorful parade pennants for all of your along the parade route. Nice collectibles. In fact, if you're a kid, as you come along and stand along the parade route, you end up getting to go home with some neat stuff. There's a coloring book, of course, that's uh, handed out to some of the kids. Lots of candy being thrown from a lot of the floats and the clowns. And, of course, if you're like Chuck, you go home completely covered in silly string. You can barely see him today. Let me tell you, if you like music, you're in the right place right now. We've got music coming from the Henry Ford II Marching Band, sung by Al Longford. They sponsored a number of high school bands this year in America's Thanksgiving Parade, and we want to welcome the Henry Ford II Marching Band. We've had marching bands from all over the country today. We mentioned North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Missouri. This one is from right here close to us in Washington, Michigan. Sounds good from here, Chuck. How does it sound there? Hey, it sounds great from down here, Carmen. You can see this big fish coming down Woodward Avenue. Hey, how are you? 
it's the rainbow fish brought to you by Charlie Mercury. Now this fish is a very special children's story, uh, which teaches children all about the value of sharing and friendship. The colorful scales you see on board this fish way up in the sky are attached to the balloon with Velcro. They're made out of a special holographic material. Star Lake and Mercury of Southfield has been kind enough to staff this fish down on the ground with their balloon handlers. Hi! Hi. Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, everybody. Well, good to see you. How's Thanks. that working today, all right? Oh, it's wonderful. There's no wind. It's great. We're spinning like crazy. Well, good. Starlink and Mercury not only responsible for sponsoring this fish, but also staffing it and helping getting a lot of the parade floats uh, capable of stopping, starting, and being able to run, which, uh, you know, they use a lot of old chassis, and sometimes they need professional help. So it was nice of them to do that. Back to you guys. <laughs> I think he did. But you know what, from fish, it kind of puts you in a tropical uh, state of mind when you're going to go from fish to maybe to gardens a little bit later or just a moment. And this fish is really making his way down there is that garden I was talking about. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Well, we at Channel 4 have gotten to know the folks at English Gardens pretty well, Lauren Bloom and company over there. And uh, this is sponsored by English Gardens with nurseries and garden centers throughout the Detroit area. Very whimsical float that is a salute to green thumbs everywhere. Well, they're calling this float exceptional, and maybe that's because the butterflies that you see on the float actually have yep. flaps or have wings that flap. And they have a watering can that tilts, and flowers actually grow out of their pots. Let's take a look and see if we can see something coming out the of The watering those. can portion is uh, actually inflatable and nine feet tall. All right. We're going to be back with more from America's Thanksgiving Parade, and we hope you'll stay right there. We'll be back in a minute. gifts at great low prices now at circuit city hurry in today and save four hundred dollars on any computer after mail-in rebates when you sign up for three years of CompuServe 2000 premier internet service like this e-machines computer and 15-inch monitor yours free after mail-in rebates save 625 dollars for friendly advice and guaranteed low prices on your new computer stop by circuit city today it only takes an instant Here's a thoughtful way to say Hey, you're special, have some fun For the holidays The Michigan Lottery has your ticket For the holidays Say it all begins this Friday at 8 a.m. The biggest after Thanksgiving sale ever at Art Band, featuring our biggest offers of the year. Zero percent interest for two full years, and there's no down payment required. And you'll find half-off savings at every department throughout the store. This Friday, you'll get both great offers in one huge sale. Plus, the first hundred customers this Friday get a free grip light flashlight. Only at Art Band's big after Thanksgiving sale. This Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Dodge Stratus offers such race-inspired features as a quick multi-valve engine and a fully independent double wishbone suspension. And now Stratus also offers a generous $1,250 cash allowance. We've just made it easier to separate yourself from the crowd. Dodge Stratus. Different. Thanksgiving Day is off to a terrific start around your house. It is off to a terrific start in downtown Detroit. It certainly is. We're listening to music from the Eisenhower High School Marching Band, and I bet Steve can hear them really good. Steve? Oh, they're coming right at us. The Eisenhower Marching Band under the direction of Ms. Kathy Bass. The sponsor is Al Longford, and we're pleased to welcome back the 145 member Eisenhower Marching Band from Shelby Township. Hey, I have a special 
special guest up here in the booth with me, Andrea Newman, a vice president from Northwest Airlines. Andrea, tell us about Northwest involvement in this fabulous parade. Oh, we love the parade. Our employees love it. We love it. It's just all the spirit that's involved. We uh, we brought in Little Richard this year. And that's almost enough by itself. Yeah, we, we, we are into the music, into the sound. We brought in Little Richard. We had him at the Hop Novel last night, and he was a grand marshal of today's parade. Well, we're going to try to get a shot up here because you came dressed for the parade. <laughs> And if nothing else, I want to show your costume. Uh, did you pick this out yourself? No, but it's Northwest colors. Did you notice? <laughs> Silver and red. I just need a little navy blue and I'm all set. It's the red nose that makes it. Are we done? Uh, next coming your way, Aesop's Fables. Sponsored by AAA of Michigan. This float is really three floats in one. It's 73 feet long with animated characters from Aesop's timeless stories. Aesop wrote a bunch of fables to help the town folk turn the tables. Instead of making a great big speech, he used animals to teach. So try your best and go for glory. And that's the moral of this story. Aesop is sponsored again by AAA of Michigan, the largest auto club in the state, more than 1.7 million members. Chuck. Hey, Steve, I'm back down on the street here with the mascot unit. This is a compilation of many different mascots all throughout the parade. And the very first one, look, it's Louie the Lightning Bug. Hi, Louie. It's good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Louie brought to us by Detroit Edison. Of course, helps to educate the Detroit Metro youth about the, the dangers of electricity and how to be safe around electricity and energy. It's good to see you. Right behind Louie is a, a unit sponsored by Pioneer Sugar. This is the Pioneer Covered Wagon, an old-fashioned wagon brought to us by pioneer sugar today and right behind that you saw this earlier in the show this morning the group from the oscar meyer wiener mobile passing out their whistles to the crowd it's a very popular unit here if you listen carefully you might be able to hear the sound of whistles from the crowd and from some of these people passing them out along the parade route and then right behind the wiener mobile hi gang happy thanksgiving we've got some of the paper mache heads here that have been brought to us by president tuxedo these heads of michigan uh, are varied, as you can see, with some recognizable faces like Rosa Parks and Tom Selleck. A lot of these heads made in Baraggio, Italy, and brought to the United States years ago, and they've been kept up by the parade company over and over again. Carmen, Devin, back up to you. All right, thank you, Chuck. And certainly, uh, we hope you haven't gotten tired of music. Check out Flicker the Dragon right, right behind the uh, Wiener Mobile. New to the parade this year, Art Van Furniture's Flicker the Dragon, a helium balloon that represents one of the characters from Art Van's uh, Kids Castle. Let me tell you, he's no slouch either. He's 14 feet wide, 20 feet long, stands 40 feet tall. You don't want to mess with him. Flicker the Dragon. Great green and purple dragon, which may remind kids, little kids, of another green and purple dragon, of course. Or a dinosaur, anyway. Oh. It has been a great year for the new things that we've seen this year. It is terrific to see the additions that come. And we couldn't have asked for better weather here today in the Detroit True. area. I mean, even the balloon handlers have made comments about it because it's really hard to hold on to those balloons, and they need several of them, you know, just to bring them down Woodward Avenue. I think so. people like the Rockettes probably enjoy warmer weather, too, <laughs> given the costumes that they <laughs> select the for these. Pom Pom Girls, maybe. But what about bands? I mean, they have to perform in all kinds of weather, too, and certainly we're glad those who had to travel far had a chance to, to celebrate it on a very nice day. Perfect a little weather. Crisp. We might, we'll, maybe we'll see another uh, record crowd as we have the last couple of years. We'll have to check in with the mayor later and uh, talk with the police who are upstairs, up in their choppers these days. Uh, counting out the crowd, we expect well over a million people though to be here with us today on Woodward, Ave Woodward Avenue. How long Ford is giving us so many bands, and here's another one. You know, I was going to say, the music of the season, the holiday season, is certainly what makes this so festive. And we want to welcome the Detroit High School for the Performing Arts. They are uh, joining us this morning under the direction of Ed Quick and Elizabeth Zachary, the High School of Performing, Fine and Performing Arts Marching Band, appearing for the sixth time in America's Thanksgiving Parade. Let's take a listen.
are. WDIV TV presents the Cinderella Float. We are, of course, the proud broadcast partner of the parade, and we are more than happy to bring you this fairy tale favorite Cinderella in her beautiful carriage. And we should mention, too, that Cinderella this year is Miss Michigan, Camille Anderson. I'm sure she'll be waving to you from the Cinderella Float. Look at our kids. Yep, our Channel 4 guys that we met Brad earlier. Moore and Brianna. Aren't they terrific? And Gregory. Gregory, who we met, met earlier when we said, uh, boy, it's nice to have you here this morning. He said, it sure is. I love this. Let me tell you, he's giving directions to the probably to the clouds. I bet he is. He's, he's both of us. In fact, both of our, uh, our kids this morning, real firecrackers. Great to have them with us. Cinderella's carriage, if you can believe it, that is in, uh, entirely carved out of styrofoam, including the uh, spinning fairy godmother. And we've got the double O Riders following right behind in a, one of our many equestrian units this morning. They were formed in 1993 by the late retired superintendent of Pontiac School, Dr. Odell Nails and his wife, Betty Nails. He felt very strongly that equestrian uh, opportunities should be made available to urban American, black American kids in, in urban areas. And this was one of his, uh, this was one of his pet projects. We want to welcome the double O Riders to the Thanksgiving parade program he founded is called Day at the Ranch, and it really is a unique uh, educational opportunity for students to get to hang out on horses. Oh my goodness, I'm getting hungry again, because mm. you know why? Simple Simon, Meta Pyman. Big Boy presents Simple Simon today, sponsored by the Big Boy Pie Collection, and what a delicious pie, or I should say pies they make. And the neat thing, of course, is this also is a scented float. It provides the smell of strawberries up and down Woodward Avenue, isn't that something? Well, from the magic of Parade Land, Woodward is filled with the scent of 500 strawberry pies. Can you imagine that? <laughs> See, when we're here, we don't get to smell the cooking that's going on in houses all over the country right now. Oh, this is no small well, This pie. is as close as we get until we get home for dinner. That's right. Well, while we fill up on strawberries here, or the scent of them anyway, we'll uh, take it to a break and come right back after this. Stay with us. I just want to say hello to everybody out there in Detroit. I love my son. Walk up, push the green button, and the next 30 seconds of your life could be on Channel 4. Hey, Wendy! Hey, have a lot of fun. Push green and be seen. I used to play trombone. What do you have to say? Look for MeTV booths at the Channel 4 Studios downtown Detroit, Star Theater in Southfield, and Mr. B's in Royal Oak. MeTV, only on Channel 4. Uh, Mr. Pearson? Tooth Fairy. You go to everyone's house? Let's just say I don't need to go to everybody's house. I brush? Right. You're missing between here, here, and here. Well, I brush there. Let's not get defensive, Mr. Pearson. You're not the problem here. Sonicare's sonic technology uses 31,000 brush strokes per minute and removes nearly twice as much plaque between teeth as a manual brush. Sonicare. You want some coffee? No, it makes me irritable. Hi, we're here at Media Play with... Kathy. To prove once and for all that Media Play is your one-stop gift shop, give us the name of somebody on your list. Uh, Lisa, Shelley, Tim. We're going to go do Kathy's list now. Man, there's a lot of movie soundtracks. There it is, Sound of Music. Now oh, let's find Shelley's computer stuff. Something with recipes. She a good cook? Yes. But now, Tim. Blank tapes. Well, we got it all taken care of. Media Play's got everything for your shopping list, and Kathy's, too. Media Play, for gifts. As an entertainer, I'm a perfectionist. That goes double when I entertain for the holidays. Introducing Arby's Winter Tulip Tumblers. Everything has to be just right, down to the last detail. With a 22 karat gold rim and a lovely winter scene. For elegance, I spare no expense. And they're just 99 cents each. Okay, but that can be our little secret. Entertain in style with Arby's new Winter Tulip Tumblers. Just 99 cents each with each soft drink purchase. Happy Thanksgiving indeed to some of the happy faces that have lined Woodward Avenue for a trip. Oh, look, we've got Charlie Chaplin. Do you see his well. your face there? Isn't that great? Uh, we're 
saying hello to Stevenson Titan Marching Band right now as they move down Woodward Avenue. Another from one of the Michigan Stevenson bands. Stevenson High School. Sterling Heights is uh, from whence they hail. Al Long Ford, again the sponsor here as they are for uh, so many of the marching bands that we're seeing this morning. This is quite a group. 205 members strong, including 140 wings, 25 percussion, 36 color guards, and four drum majors. Titans are making their third appearance in this marvelous parade. One of the four that were featured, by the way, in, uh, or, or, or featured last year in the 1999 Orange Bowl halftime show. So they're used to uh, big time deals and uh, big time crowds. All right, let's take a look. Society of Detroit Pipe Band. So much sunshine. It's even warm here. We were thinking about breaking out the sunscreen, taking the cover off the pool. It's just beautiful down here. You could even wear kilts. You could get away with kilts today. The St. Andrews Society of Detroit Pipe Band, what tradition, celebrating their 150th anniversary this year. They're an extraordinary band. They perform the prestigious Fash Bash, the Scottish Genealogy Fair, the Kirking of the Tartan Ceremony, and so much more. And it's a bedtime story with the Michigan Acrobat. This brought to you by Sears, who also, by the way, has provided craftsman tools and other equipment to the parade's art staff to put these fabulous floats together. Mom and Dad told us, we've told our kids, don't jump on the bed. But every child loves to bounce on a bed. How about the fun these grown-ups are having on these extra, extra king-size mattresses? Performing on the trampoline, seven Michigan acrobats, including Dick Kimball, who's been bouncing his way down Woodward since 1955. What's happening at your end? Well, I'll tell you what, Steve, this is the big race every morning here, Thanksgiving morning, the Turkey Trots. This is the 17th annual, and to commemorate it, they have their own float brought to you by Aptopure, CVS Pharmacy, Huggies, and Duracell, and Aptopure. Did I mention that one? There's so many. WJR and the WDIV involved in this as well. As you might be aware, this is one of the most popular runs in the entire state, a 10K run. You can see people in downtown Detroit warming up in the wee hours of the morning getting set for this 10K run, and I don't know if it's most popular because people like running or they just want to work off calories in advance. What do you think, Kevin? I'd say it's a good idea. I, I hear some... About all the work that goes I hear some sirens. Together. You better get serious here. <laughs> okay, you know why? Because this is the clown team from the Detroit Fire Department, and they don't mess around. When we talk about tradition, these guys go back 50 years to being a part of this parade. Uh, supported by the Detroit Firemen's Fund Association. They're led this year by Sergeant Thomas Fithian, 15 clowns in all, a pickup truck, a 25-foot ladder truck, and a very loud siren. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, you know they're coming even before you see them. They've been a parade crowd pleaser for years, and we're glad to have them back. Uh, Woo! Fire department clowns. A little bit of trouble there. Oh, goodness, look at that. You have a problem with those clowns? Well, if you jam 50 people into them, you're going to have these kind of problems. We'll see if they get it all straightened out while we take a break. Oh, <laughs> 
From the Tony Award-winning creators of Les Miserables and Miss Saigon comes Martin Gare, an unforgettable story of mistaken identity and unmistakable passion. I'm Martin Gare. December 1st through 19th at the Fisher Theater, the Olivier Award-winning best musical, Martin Gare. Be there when desire and deception come face to face. I'm so excited. It's Target's two-day sale. What if I ever sleep? What if I forget my checkbook? Target has Garth Brooks' latest releases, The Magic of Christmas, and Garth Brooks in the Life of Chris Gaines. <laughs> I love Garth. I love Chris. I don't know who I love more. Target's two-day sale starts Friday. Come in early for incredible savings and surprises. Need a map? Oh, come on! I've got to get to Target! Remember those adorable misfit toys from the classic TV special, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Well, this year's toys have landed at CVS Pharmacy, and they're looking for a home. These cuddly beanbag collectibles are only at CVS, and only for a limited time. We've even got the video that inspired them. So drop in today, before they're gone. Care that touches everyone, one at a time, CVS. On this Thanksgiving morning in Detroit, a crisp morning, but the sun is shining and certainly warming our spirits, and this parade has certainly done a wonderful job of doing that, getting us in the holiday and festive mood. This has done that. Happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Hope your holiday's off to a terrific start. Just one of the traditions, part of a Detroit Thanksgiving, the big parade. Of course, the Detroit Lions getting ready to tee it up later. Football, a big oh, part of the I'm traditional day, too. Right? This parade true. is in full swing and has been for quite some time, but we've got a lot more to come. We've had clowns, we've had music, we've got floats. We want to welcome the Troy High School Marching Band. Another band brought to you by Al Long Ford. And let's take a listen to the Troy High School Marching Band under the direction of Joseph Havrila and assisted by Kathy Griffith. through Blue Cross and Blue Shield and the Blue Care Network. And they are once again sponsoring the Bookworm, an 80-foot scholar, followed by the Blues Honor Corps, which is 150 of the best and brightest Metro Detroit high school students. Also, the Cast Tech cheerleaders are there. Detroit area girl and boy scouts. These are the best and brightest Aww. of young Detroit. We want to congratulate each and every one of them and a special salute to Michigan's brightest academic stars. Pretty tight turn the bookworm tries to make there. Just a few more feet on either side, and we would be able to make it on Woodward. Beautiful colors on this, and again, we talked about what a spectacular year for floats this has been. So many of the new ones, a lot of uh, animation and movement this year. The bookworms had the animation going for some time, as you see snaking and swirling its way down Woodward Avenue. But what great crowds that we're seeing back there behind the two. 
get the feeling they've been waiting for this parade all year long and it's finally here. It really is an exciting time right now, and we've certainly seen evidence of that just this week alone. Not only the parade today, but the announcement coming uh, this past week that Compuware is moving its uh, huge world head headquarters down to Woodward at Campus Martius, which is just a few blocks back up the parade route. And, of course, the stadium's coming in up, uh, up Woodward uh, next year. All right, and we want to welcome Snowden, brought to you by Target Stores. And Snowden comes from Target Stores, who have been knocking hearts across the country. Snowden is over 35 feet tall, requires about 40 handlers or volunteers to handle and maneuver him down the parade route. You can find Snowden in his own holiday special coming up this holiday season as well, but here's hoping that we don't get snowed in like we did last year right around the beginning of the year. there oh we need to check in with santa cam first time we've been able to bring you this so this must mean that santa is getting awfully close to our position down here you are looking live from Santa's right across the antlers of the reindeer and curious george also he's approaching maybe michigan avenue mm -hmm. which is a few yep. blocks away from here but shortly boys and girls and of all ages you'll be able to see man we've been waiting for who's certainly the real star of this parade let's talk about the old newsboys and the goodfellas they, this fund uh, was started way back in 1914 uh, by james brady and you see their slogan there and what a terrific idea it is so an idea we could all uphold no kitty without a christmas you know they distribute more than 40,000 christmas packages to children who would otherwise go without a christmas and for that i don't think we can say thank you enough to the old news boys and goodfellas when they're not worrying about christmas issues they're also uh, providing uh, emergency dental care uh, shoes summer camps, programs like that for the very same children who get uh, their Christmas packages. So the old boy, uh, the new boys and the good fellows are a part of their lives all year long. All right, and when you see them out on their campaign, give them some money, give them some change, give them whatever you can. Back with more here from America's Thanksgiving Parade as we say so long for this segment from Santa Camp. Stick around. It may be chilly outside, but the excitement is hot inside. The Kobo Carnival, Detroit's only indoor amusement park, is fun for the whole family. It's a full-size carnival with thrill rides and games, a perfect holiday treat. Admissions free with ride all day wristbands for only $15 a person. The fun starts earlier this year and runs weekends to support America's Thanksgiving Parade. To come down to the Kobo Carnival, be a part of the magic that's captured hearts for years. For information, call 313-923-7400.
Savannah drawing closer and closer as we saw there from Santa Cam. Just about 25 minutes or so left uh, in the 1999, the very last edition of American Thanksgiving Parade for the 1900s. Well, we don't want anyone to go, in, uh, go unnoticed. In fact, the Waterford Mott High School Marching Band joins us now, sponsored also by Al Longford. They're directed by Gerald Fry, and believe me, this band has been everywhere. They traveled to Florida, Myrtle Beach, Tennessee. Last year, they went to London, England. Oh, what a thrill. We want to welcome them here at this Thanksgiving. Back in 1997, they were voted the very best band in the parade. 122 members, 80 wins, 24 percussion, 13 color guard, and three field commanders, past champions. Let's hear how they sound. down here at the end of the parade route, the excitement brewing. Hey, the Harlem Nutcracker in town. You got a little taste earlier in our presentation. The University Musical Society presents the Harlem Nutcracker. America's Thanksgiving Parade. Welcome to Rudy Hawkins Singers, who will be appearing in the Harlem Nutcracker, a holiday spectacle brought to Detroit by the University Musical Society, the Detroit Opera House, and the Arts League of Michigan. The Harlem Nutcracker opens, by the way, tomorrow at the Opera House for 11 public performances. And I have a very special guest up here in the booth with me. I wanted you to, to chat with for a while. Art Van Elslander, Art Van Furniture. Art, it is no secret that 10 years ago this parade was in trouble. You and your family offered a lot of love, a lot of commitment. You got to be so proud of what this is today. Extremely, honestly, Steve, it's really a pleasure for us to be here. My entire family, grandchildren included, are here and and have been part of it for the last 10 years. But to see the uh, the curbside attendance, to see what went on both today and last night, and last night at Hop Novel Gobble is really, really very gratifying. Well, and kind of fitting, we're talking about making dreams happen. You're looking at Peter Pan. The Detroit News brings you Peter Pan. Easy to get hooked on Peter Pan. Another beautiful float. The crocodile's head moves back and forth. The ship rocking to and fro. Look out for Hook. Kevin and Devin, back to you. All right, Steve. And we're hearing the Salvation Army Band. Salvation Army here with their mascot, Ziggy, I believe. And he's a famous cartoon sure. character dressed up in a Salvation Army uniform. <laughs> to help spread the word about all the wonderful things the Salvation Army does to help people. The good people of Salvation Army have been with this parade since 1974. Great stuff. Babe, By the way, Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. A legend, or I should say a tale, that is told over many, many generations here in Michigan of Paul Bunyan, and he was a uh, lumberjack, probably one of the biggest lumberjacks ever around. Ever. You see, this is sort of a, this is sort of mixed media. Babe is a float and Paul's a balloon. Babe is a tried and true blue ox that you saw her, how huge she is, 45 feet long, and there's Paul. We got uh, so much more to come from Woodward Avenue in Detroit. Stick around. not just as a family vehicle, but as a personal and individual means of transportation. The job of a powerful engine. Now for a moment, imagine yourself as driver of this automobile. You really have to drive it. At the Chrysler Proving Ground, give them an expressway and their drivers are well. I think we've made the scenic back roads fun to drive. Or give them any country or suburban road, rough or smooth. They're the type of people who like the feel of a fine machine. The renowned engineers of Chrysler. A minimum of ornamentation and a minimum of chrome molding. He's a regular firecracker. The sounds of nature sing their prettiest over the rich, throaty obligato of his engine. Even sheet metal can have a soul. And they give you back the romance of driving. And that is why these will never land on an ordinary car. And you find out what exceptional unity of man and machine has been achieved. Hi, we're here at Media Play with... Sonia. To prove that Media Play is your one-stop gift shop, give us the name of someone on your gift list. Shelby. My daughter's a big Titanic fan. Uh-huh. Uh, the Titanic box set. Any alternative endings on it? Okay, give us another name. My husband, John. He's a PlayStation fanatic. She knows a way around here. 
I think he gets all his aggression out on these games. Well, shopping's done. Guess you can go home and take a nap or something. Medium pay, forget. <laughs> you should be excited. Santa Claus is just a couple of blocks away. Yeah, Look at the air wonderings. Yeah. Oh, I hear another band. Uh, and this is the Renaissance High School marching band from Renaissance High. The band was established in 1994 by Willie McAllister and under the direction of Dr. Irma Hamilton, who's principal of Renaissance High School. The second of the Detroit band selected to appear in America's Thanksgiving Parade. Not only this big gig for them this year, but also they'll be in the 1999 Peach Bowl Parade down in Atlanta. All right, well, right now they're on Woodward Avenue. Let's take a listen. as they are so many of the other marching bands. We should tell you that we have uh, learned of the winner this year in the marching band competition. A lot of times you don't realize that there's a competition going on behind the parade. The Troy Athens marching band wins as the best marching band of this year's parade. Congratulations to them and all their supporters. been marching for some time and they've still got a spring in their step. 2.2 miles this parade route and at the very end of it you find Steve Garagiola. This is the rainbow. It's the Wizard of Oz brought to you by Abso Pure Water Company. Special thanks to Abso Pure for providing water to the parade staff, the volunteers, and all those very thirsty turkey trot runners who worked up a good sweat today in this beautiful sunshine. You know, Dorothy went to Munchkinland with her little dog in hand. She made some friends along the way, and one of them was made of hay. The wizard made them all feel groovy and made this book into a really great movie. And just remember, wherever you roam, as Dorothy says, there's no place like home. Today's Dorothy is Elise Nicole Ringer. She's an eight-year-old from Plymouth Christian Academy in Plymouth, Michigan. Elise living a fantasy today by playing Dorothy in today's parade. There's Elise. heroes i don't mind telling you a long time ago this guy was my hero curious george the parade volunteers present curious george he's a salute to all the thousands and thousands of people who give up so many hours to put this together he's a curious fellow a timeless treasure in children's literature this balloon dedicated to the parades very enthusiastic volunteers in appreciation of the many hours and hard work that brings the magic of this parade to life the Wayne County Sheriff Mounted Division parading down Woodward Avenue. Mounted uni, uh, Unit was formed way back in 1893 and it's over 100 years old. In fact, it is in fact one of the oldest mounted units in the country. It consists of officers who are riding uh, horses that have been expertly trained. These are Morgan Quarter horses and saddlebred. They've been a part of this parade for a long time too. Certainly have. We want to welcome them back to the America's Thanksgiving Parade. The Wayne County Sheriff Mounted Division. And they are also the sign of what's to come. They get to lead the way for the man himself. Oh, and look at that. I see it from the Santa Cam that he's not far from us. In fact, I think if we... Whoa! Turn Happy Thanksgiving! Down, we can see him right out of our window. I can certainly hear him. There he is. Ford Motor Company sponsors the float that Santa's on. In fact, this is a brand new float. Lots of reindeer. He's got a chariot filled with toys. And look at the action from the reindeer themselves. This is just a beautiful, one of the, and it should be, one of the best floats in the entire parade. And we certainly want to say a special thank you to the volunteers from Ford who have been instrumental in this year's parade. Come to us from Ford Building 4. Do you know the names of all of the reindeer? Let's see. You know Dasher and Dancer and Donna and Francis and Gibson. Okay, now which one? Oh, well, you know, I'll have to ask Santa. Santa would know. Yes. 
Well, Santa's got some business to attend to right now. He's got lots of boys and girls waiting to hear from him. Today. Thank you. And as he does Hi, every year, he'll be getting a key to the city. How are you? Boy, you want him to have a key to your house, that's Happy for sure. Happy holiday! Hi there! Today's November 25th, Hello, one everyone. month away from that's Santa's right. big night. Hello, kids! Hi to all the volunteers who did a great job! Hello there! <laughs> Happy holiday! <laughs> the music you hear Hello behind there, Santa everybody. is provided by JBL How Sound, and of course it has Hi, to be. Ken. Here comes Santa Claus. How are ya? It's great to be in Detroit! <laughs> Hi again! Good to see all of ya! <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> and a Carmen and Devin. Hello. Hi, well, thank Santa. you, Santa. So good to see Hi, you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Happy holiday. <laughs> what a marvelous culmination of so much hard work. We were talking to Susie Gross earlier. Uh, their year for next their work for next year's parade, of course, starts tomorrow. All of it, really, for this marvelous moment, looking at the faces oh, yeah. of the children and the, uh, the million people or so who blind Woodward Avenue to enjoy a spectacular day in Detroit again. Well, Susie's work is almost done, but Sam's work is about to begin. <laughs> That's right. He's going to receive the key to the city of Detroit, to the hearts of all the boys and girls throughout the metro Detroit area, from our own Detroit mayor, Dennis Archer. And then after that, I think he leads a... A group of uh, parade goers uh, into Cobo Hall for right. the for the Wonderland for the big carnival Christmas carnival. Good to see all of you. Good to see you. Hello Santa looks there. in good form, good How shape, been eating well, obviously. Hi, gang. You can thank Mrs. Claus. Oh, of course. There's Susie Gross, who we just mentioned, president of the parade company. Welcome, Santa, to the best city in the world to host the best parade in the world. <laughs> Archer. Santa Claus, on behalf of the children of the city of Detroit, and some of us big children as well, <laughs> welcome to the city of Detroit. Our children have been outstanding this year, and they're deserving of everything that you bring. Thank you for coming back again to the city of Detroit, and thanks for leading America's Thanksgiving Parade. Well, Mr. Mayor, let me say this. Thanks to the boys and girls of this city for inviting me every year. It's my favorite parade of all the parades. And I'll tell you what, come Christmas Eve, I'm going to be bringing boys and girls presents. And Mr. Mayor, I got two presents for you. A new baseball stadium and a new football stadium. Thank you very much. Please accept the key to the city and a key to our heart. Thank you very much. And let me say, and all of you newspaper people can quote me, let me say this. I want to be the first to wish every boy and girl in the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan a Merry Christmas! Thank you! Thank you both. Thank you both. A great parade. A great parade indeed. Has it been another spectacular Thanksgiving morning in the city of Detroit? And no one Happy says holiday, have a Merry Christmas oh, like Santa, does it? What a great day in Detroit! Kind of a job requirement, isn't it? Oh, it is. Oh, look at the great crowd that we've got Good down there. Let's go back to Steve, who's sitting uh, with a man who, as you mentioned, Steve, just must be so proud as he watches the scene unfolding in front of him. Oh, what a great finish. Art Van Elsland is still here with us. Good to see Art Santa conjures up great memories for all of us. How about you? Any parade memories stick out special for you? I think I think each and every one of them, Steve. I think every every year they, they just continue to get better. Uh, I want to I want to say to the mayor, I certainly agree with him, and I having been in the parade this year, I think all the boys and girls were so good that I hope that Santa's good to them this year. <laughs> now, you know, we've got to turn the millennium now. This has got to get bigger and better again next year. I think so. I think we're really on the way. I think there's so many people behind the parade today, and I think the attendance here certainly uh, certainly shows that. Well, I thank you so much for the love and commitment you and your family have given to this parade. It certainly is spectacular. Thank you. It's our pleasure, and uh, we get a lot of gratification from it, Steve. Chuck, let's go down to you. Hey, here we are with Santa. Merry hey, Christmas. Chuck, how are you? It's good, good to, to see, see you. Santa. Have you met our parade kids this year, Who's Gregory it? and Brianna? Gregory, Brianna, how, how are you? Well, how you doing? Santa, tell us, what are your plans today now after this parade? 
well, I'm going to relax, and I'm going to watch the Lions beat the Bears. That's what I'm going to do. And then I want to have a big Thanksgiving turkey, and after that, Chuck, back to the North Pole. i got lots of work to do. It's good to see you again. Let me just tell you, these two kids have been very good this year, Santa. I have just they? want to get the good word in for them. You know what? I knew that. I knew you knew that. I knew that. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, and good happy Thanksgiving, you. Chuck. Good Thanks to see you. Okay. Oh, uh, Devin Carmen, this good is it. The you. kids have seen Santa. What do you think of that, huh? Hey, Chuck, Thanks. you can put in two good words yeah. for these two kids here. Great. We've been good, too. Oh, well, you know, I... Oh, it's too late, Carmen. Oh. Plus, he already knows, as you heard him say, so... That means that's all messed up. All right. We want to thank uh, Greg and Brianna and tell them we certainly enjoyed meeting them. I sure will. And Chuck said they've been good this year. They were really good for us today. They were great there. We thanked them for all the work that they did. Uh, real special I don't time think we too. can begin to thank just about everybody. I mean, we've had so much that's fun true. for so... Yeah. I was going to say many hours, but certainly a couple of hours that we've been covering this parade and For Shirley so Jones stopped in. That was great, wasn't yeah, it? That was yeah. a great idea. It's and it's been nice having you to join me this year. It's nice to be in here out of the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I've enjoyed it very much. It's been terrific. Here. Just another great, great year. Right. We are so excited. We love being a part of your Thanksgiving holiday as well. This is all about, of course, traditions. Uh, the traditions that are going on in your house this morning probably uh, include... Oh, whatever you might have for breakfast every Thanksgiving year. And then, of course, the smell of turkey wafting through the house. But this is a special one for us, and we're so delighted to uh, join you and your family as we do every year. And Thanks for inviting us in. Oh, yes, and certainly people are wondering where is Santa going with that big key right. to the city? Well, he's going to unlock the doors over at Cobo, and <laughs> he's going to let all the kids into that carnival. And then we were there last night, and they arrived, and cotton candy, and all kind of festive uh, foods, and... Oh, my goodness. Special stuff. Why don't we have a check back in with Steve? You mentioned where I use, uh, used to sit down in uh, the, what we lovingly call the igloo. Down there, right in front of facing the river there, Steve. It has been a great year, hasn't it? How'd you like your first parade? Hey, no complaints at all. As I said earlier, I've been a spectator on the curve, and I've been a spectator on my couch at home, and there is no seat like the one I had here this morning. So, Devin, thank you for uh, shifting over a chair. I don't mind being cold. This was awesome. We had a great, beautiful, sunny day and a wonderful parade. Right. Thank Steve, you so any much. Lasting, uh, lasting memories and impressions, your favorite part today? Well, I, no, I guess it, I'm like a new kid in the candy store. Since this is the first <laughs> time I sat on this perch, it's just all a blur at this point. It was just so exciting to be part of this event. Your well, you yeah. know what right. probably made it even better was the weather. And I, oh, I mean, we could start by thanking Chuck, but Chuck, this was just a perfect day. It really was. And you know, it, it worked out. It seems that it does that every year somehow. The rain just ends, and Brianna and Gregory, you were great co-hosts this year. Congratulations. Do you want to say anything as we go out? Yes. I'd like to say thank you and happy holidays to everyone. What about you? I'd like to say... To all of you who are watching this, happy holidays and have a nice holiday. And I have to tell you that as they were moving down the parade route and waving, they were collecting silly string and candy for me. So I guess I'm an official buddy now. So thanks for working with me. You made me look good. I'm, I'm happy to have known you and met you and worked with you. And a happy holidays. My best memory down here is now I've seen it all. You know, we've seen trampolinists working this parade route as they're moving. And now you see skateboarders working and on a parade float place. while moving down Woodward Avenue. Unbelievable. We've had a perfect day so far. What about the evening? Chuck is going to continue like this throughout Looks the like day? it. I mean, we've got some fair sky here. We might get some shower activity tomorrow, but for travel plans today, if you're staying close to home or moving around the state, you'll be just fine. All right. Well, a wonderful holiday to you and your family. And certainly you too, to Gregory thanks. and Brianna. Not only did we have the skateboarders that he mentioned on a float, we also had ice skaters on a moving float. Ice skaters. It really has been. And the, uh, the, the different... All of the, uh, what was the, what the, the, if you give a mouse a cookie per float, okay. all of the animation we've had has yeah. just been They really came, were interactive and certainly came to life in, in ways that they hadn't in the past. And so this has been a special uh, parade coverage for us, it's the 73rd parade. Well, we haven't been Not around yours. that long. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we do want to wish you, you and your family a wonderful holiday. It's that you'll see Devin and I tomorrow night. And uh, we're going to have some turkey and dressing when we get home. What about you? Hey, you betcha. They, that's the best part. And then let's go Lions as well to beat the Bears. It takes so many people here from Channel 4 working in uh, conjunction with the folks at the Parade Company. We want to... Uh, Tip our hat to them and thank them for all their hard work. And thank you so much for inviting us in on this Thanksgiving morning. Happy you know Thanksgiving. Who you are. Good night.
Thanksgiving Parade is presented in part by Dodge. Do not follow, do not conform, be different. Arby's, love food? Think Arby's. Media Play, your entertainment superstore. MGM Grand Casino, step into the spotlight. Omnipoint, wireless takes the next step. Oakwood St. John Providence Select Care, your community health care family. Transportation provided by Lakeside Limousine, providing total transportation service to the Tri-County area and the nation for over 16 years. Makeup and hairstyling provided by John Jordan and Sharon Haldeman of Salon Click in West Bloomfield.